Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. When we last left off, we went to uh, Novigrad. We met up with Triss, and we helped her out. And uh, now we're supposed to go to some um, dream interpreter lady. Anyways, we'll look at our quest when we get in there. I see you, got it. So let's load into the save. As the Emperor's spies told him, Ciri had beached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. All right, so let's get up to speed on our quest. So we have the Novigrad Dreaming. That's where we're going to start. Find the Dreamer in the old house. We still need to go to Skellige. We did find a boat captain that will potentially take us. That person's at the uh, the bar, not that bar, not that far from here. There's the DLC quest, and in Ciri's footsteps, still need to find her in or where she was in Skellige and Novigrad. Our secondary quest, the volunteer, that's the singing troll thingy. Uh, of swords and dumplings, we actually made some progress on this. We found Hattori, and he needs some help with his supplier. Uh, we got big city players in Novigrad for Gwent. Uh, high stakes is a tournament for Gwent in Novigrad. Collect all the cards, play the end keeps. Uh, find the blacksmith tools in Unvuk, which I believe was in Skellige. We have the fist fighting, which I found two fist fights so far. Uh, for more Gwent, we have, uh, the Soothsayer that we need to play. Uh, this is the bandits that took over the mine, and there's big badness down below. This is to visit the Soothsayer. That's it for secondary quests for the... With your contracts, we have the Oxenfurt drunks, some people dying in Oxenfurt. There's a creature in the forest. The white lady was outside of Novigrad. Uh, Lord of the Wood also outside of Novigrad. Oh, I mean, I guess it says it's from Novigrad. Deadly Delights. Huh. I don't remember this one at all. Uh, contract for the missing brother. We got that early on believe we found the cave and it's back near where we started in Belen. Uh the Beast of Honorton. Mysterious tracks outside of Lindenvale. Swamp Thing. This is the guy we found in the Crookback Bog. Mystery of the Byways murders. We cleared out the town. We didn't go down to investigate. And then we have treasure hunts. We've got cat school gear. We have this one for the bandits that died trying to hide their stuff in like holy places or whatever uh wolf school gear and griffin school gear all right i feel like we made some progress significant progress our quest list is getting lower something's wrong i must be playing the wrong game i must have loaded up the wrong game anyways the dreamer is this way? I'm trying to figure out where I am. I am... Ah, yes. That's the theater area. That's the square where they burned the witch. Which apparently was a witch I knew. And... Uh, never did check out the notice board. Maybe we'll start with that. Nothing Let's go check out the notice board. Board. Did you finish some quests, or are you receiving more quests than you complete? I finished some quests, believe it or not. Believe it or not, my quest number has gone down. Wait, are they playing the combat music? Yes! Dude, now I'm just imagining this band like following behind in the woods every time I uh, enter combat. I got my own entourage. Look 
Looking to enlist with the temple guard. All right, what do we got? Contract for the haunted house. I seek a witcher of unsullied reputation. Documentation regarding prior achievements and written references preferred. Who will undertake the task of combing the residents on the outskirts of the city, recently acquired by the undersigned, Count Kurt Dysart, in order to find and drive off or kill the creature which is haunting it. A sizable reward is guaranteed. Sincerely, Kurt Dysart, Count of Anchor, by writ of King Full Test, temporarily in residence at the Kingfisher. Contract Imp. On behalf of the Merchant's Guild, I hereby announce the following. A particularly bold beast, an imp, to our thinking, has taken to thieving in the markets near the city gates. Though it has not yet harmed any humans, this monster has caused a great deal of irrevocable financial loss. Whoever tracks down and kills this imp shall receive a hefty reward. One free of all taxes, in accordance with an honorable city councilman's decree, number 1271C710. Do not tarry in providing us assist assistance, good people, for retail trade is the backbone of a healthy economy, meaning the financial well-being of the city's merchants lies in all of your best interests. Sylvester Amello, merchant. Lessons in... Oh, we've seen this before. And I still don't know how to say that. Does anybody know how to pronounce that? I'm not distinguished enough of an individual to uh, pronounce that. Companion wanted! Veteran seeks companion for a last mission. Required, willing to travel overseas, has own gear, experience fighting and tracking. Preferred, sense of humor and a strong head. Pay, sizable. Deliverable at the mission's end. Those interested need not send any papers for I won't read them. Come talk to me man to man instead. Need us. Contract Monster in the Bits. By order of the City Council, number 1408DZ185. A reward has been set aside for the killing of the monster which torments and murders residents of the Bits after dark. The only acceptable proof of having performed this deed shall be a trophy taken from the monster's body. Yes, this means your mother's or cousin's or aunt's eyewitness testimony will not suffice, nor will the sworn word of any other person, regardless of his or her claimed relationship to you, the hierarch or anyone else, and also without caring one whit for his or her alleged trustworthiness which supposedly can be attested to by anyone at your favorite drinking hall. For more information and or to collect the reward, see the district superintendent for the bits. Lund, by writ of the city council, superintendent of the bits. Fist fights. I think this is where we originally got the quest. Yeah, what are the names again? Georges George. Known as the Pile Driver, Archibald O'Neill, Captain Iron Mortimer, and Durden, known as the Tailor. All right, we have new quests. Contract an elusive thief. Contract doors slamming shut. And the fist of fear. Wait. Oh, this is a separate Fist of Fury. I am following the thread, so we got four new quests. And a new quest, Black Pearl. I was making so much progress. Five quests right at the start. All right, what do we got? We got Fist of Fury Novigrad. Geralt found, found out a series of fist fights was being organized in Novigrad. He had participated in such fights in the past and grown to like the feel of his fist pounding into some lunkhead's skull. He thus decided to take part. Then we have... Following the Thread. While wallowing in the bits, Novigrad's worst and most notorious slum, the Witcher took a contract on a monster committing horrendous murders under the cover of darkness. At the time, he never suspected that a story starting in the gutter would end in a luxurious manner. Oh, really? Black Pearl. When men sense death's approach, they try to finish all manner of unresolved business. Some write wills, others pay off debts, and still others make up with estranged relatives. Need us, a hardened, a battle-hardened veteran from Novigrad, wanted to tie off a rather atypical loose end acquiring the black pearl he had once promised his beloved wife. As he had reached an advanced age, he would not be able to journey to the black pearl's bed 
of Skellige by himself. So he hired the Witcher to assist him. So that one's in Skellige. All right, then we got our contracts. Where an elusive thief, a Novigrad merchant by the name of Sylvester Armello, had hung a notice on the Novigrad board asking for help in tracking down a thieving imp. It seemed the Merchant's Guild was being pestered by a mysterious creature who kept stealing wares from its members' stalls. Geralt accepted the job. Doors slamming shut. Sprawling, out-of-town manors always hide their fair share of mysteries, and the residents of Novigrad's outskirts were no exception. When Geralt found out about a haunted manor owned by a certain Kurt Dysart, he agreed at once to look into the matter. And... Treasure hunt? Maybe. No? I thought I had more quests pop up than that. Did I miss one? Let's see. There was Fist of Fury. Following the thread. Black Pearls. That's three. Uh, I guess I did get five. Oh, wait. No. I... Oh, yeah. There was two contracts. Okay. Never mind. That adds up. It's math. It can't be wrong. Why is your air so great, Arnie? So the worst scum flows into Novigrad. Sorceresses, their debauchery putting whores to shame, alchemists violating divine commandments, and worst of all, witches, mutants stripped of all emotion, blood. <laughs> Here crawls a witcher. Look! The corpse-like visage, the beastly eyes. This is magic that's made a modern bull of a man. What's more? The horse aren't steal young My man. Yes, steal them. Like and subject them to vile torture to the bait. Transform into dust. beasts wretched as themselves. Sorry. Lovely natural. Sorry. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. Well, I'll give it to him. He had the courage. How many people's lives have you saved? How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens. That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. They said. It'll pay off, they said. Geralt has won the war, war of words. So, how do you go with this healer? I was faffing about minding my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. Had a profitable case of leprosy one minute, next thing I know I'm bankrupt, with no means to earn me livelihood. But I like that. Alright, I think this is the... This is the... Yeah, the um, concert place. You do well not to post a punk. I won't. Just saying, la, hey. La, 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 Wait. Have I been down here? Who's this Fabian Mayer and Gus Mayer? Who are you guys? Richard. Why do you get names? Oh. What makes you so special? Oh, maybe I got into here early. Oh crap, am I gonna be able to get out? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so maybe that's for another time? I don't know. Hello, Bard. Holy, holy, you're a Oh, that's something nasty. 
Yeah, that's where I went. Okay. I think I've been down here. Yeah, I went down here before. Oh, terrible times. All right. Anyways, our dreamer person right over here. Oh, and I guess I didn't get a recap. Oniromancers, or dreamers as they are more commonly called, possess the ability their name implies to divine the future or relive the past through dreams. Corin was one of the best of her kind and had no trouble finding clients, even with the hostility to the occult that reigned in Novigrad at the time. Geralt hoped she would spare him a few moments and set off to find her in a house where she had gone to ply her trade. Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Yonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corin. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. The house's history? Why do you care about it? Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. <laughs> yeah. Did somebody just... What's the... Squatting. Somebody squatting, dude. In, in more ways than one. Why are you standing here? Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact. Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Let me in. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black bonds, economically. Music pick up. Is something about to happen? Nope. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Well, that doesn't sound good. I saw something to investigate at the top of the stairs. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Or not. Leave it! Well, I might be getting ahead of myself. Let me check the rest of the house.
Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Like a godling. Is Johnny here? Johnny, are you up to no good? I thought Johnny died. We'll see. I doubt it was Johnny. I don't think Johnny would do something like this. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. anymore. Drawing of a crib. Paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn by a child, it seems. Ragdoll. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what had happened if I laid a doll in it. Guess we can find out. of a bread hearth. I assume it's the wall I already blew up. scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. I know what you are. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then- And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? 
I... If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big end chases me. End's got these rays. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Let's make a deal. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. See? Nice Geralt gets things done. It's not like that guy needs any more revenue. He's doing fine. Now what the heck's happened over here? Ah, oh, never mind. That's just the bits from the wall I blew up. It's still red for some reason. <laughs> Speaking of bits, I'm in the bits. That's appropriate. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Meet Corin at the Golden Sturgeon. I think that's also where that boat captain is. Alright, sorry buddy. Your house is permanently haunted. The second sword. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? House is still haunted, can't seem to lift the curse. Or I know why the house is haunted. Oh, well, we could be a liar. What choice you guys want to make? Let's see. Well, I guess we're a liar either way. So which way are we lying? Hmm? Uh, house is haunted. Haunted. There's a godling. What do you guys think? I 
Hey, Drew. Welcome to the stream. All right, I am ending the poll. And we are keeping our word. House is still haunted, can't seem to lift the curse. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Mountains. Alright, so... Like I said, she's over there, which is also where that supposed boat captain is. That will be helpful. So let's go. The plague. The plague. Four witches are evil's fountainhead. They consort with cobbles and slurp the blood of babes. I don't have time to tell them off. Oh. I've had enough of living. All right, I believe this is the golden sturgeon. Oh, there's a notice board here too. Back there at Lock Marine. Ah, screw it. We'll take a look. Wanted hot burning firewood. The Church of the Eternal Fire seeks to purchase firewood of the highest quality. Any man who can supply such product will not only be generously compensated, but will also aid the fight against heresy and lechery. For the wood will be used to build the pyres upon which mages and other such filth will be incinerated. His Excellency Cyrus Inglekind Himmelfart, Hierarch of the Church of the Eternal Fire. Warning to the clever fuck who's taken to relieving himself on my doorframe every night. If you're reading these words, pay attention. I purchased a top-notch dwarven crossbow at market. I'm going to sit by my window day in and day out to the end of the world, if I have to. Waiting for you to show again. So unless you want to bolt between your eyes or up your high knee, go empty your water somewhere else, you dirty hooligan. Old Bracked Vigerman, 1C Foreman's Alley. Announcement concerning items of a magic nature. May the following hereby be known. The production, possession, or sale of any magic items whatsoever. Exempli gratia. I've never heard that before. Uh, amulets meant to bring good fortune. Desire intensi intensifying potions. Dolls used to cast cur curses on their likenesses. And so forth. Is strictly forbidden and shall be punished with the utmost severity. His Excellency Cyrus Inglekind Hemelfart. Hierarch of the Eternal Fire. A word from the Armorer's Guild. The Armorer's Guild would like to remind you of the following. No one shall forge nor sell armor nor helmets in Novigrad unless he has first joined our ranks and proven his credentials as a master. Members of the Guild must pay two out of every hundred crowns earned to the communal fund. Any member who knowingly takes on another member's apprentice shall, ha shall pay half of his earned profits to the Guild. Any member caught selling iron helmets and breastplates claiming they are steel shall be stricken from the Guild registry. Any member who brings a weapon to guild meeting shall pay a day's earnings to the communal fund by way of punishment. Personal announcement. Widower, 60 years of age. Wait. Uh, have I seen this? Maybe not. Widower, 60 years of age, of medium height, above average intellect, possessing a fortune in both species and real estate. Seeking old maid or childless widow of a similar age or somewhat older. Preferably from a landed family. Those interested are requested to send a missive with a faithful engraving of their likeness included to Post Restante Gildorf, CO Romantic. P.S. No response will be given to letters without a full name and valid return address. P.P.S. Women of the elder races, halflings in particular, need not inquire. Weights and measures. In light of the continual quarrels distracting our market's stall holders from their primary business of doing business, let me remind you of the officially endorsed weights and measures used in Novigrad. One fathom is three L's. 
One L is two feet. One foot is twelve inches. One galleon is four quarts. One bushel is eight gallons. One barrel is four bushels. One pound is sixteen ounces. One stone is twenty-five pounds. And one hundred weight equals four stones. Is that... Wait. All right, Chris. Is that what a stone means? Because I've heard stones used before. Is a stone 25 pounds? I feel like it's not. But maybe. Maybe it is? What's a stone? In, uh... I guess, I, I, I guess that's metric? Oh, Chris might not be here. If anybody knows, I'm curious. It is requested that all sellers and buyers use this system of measurements. Complaints concerning transactions made in other measurements will be summarily dismissed. The City Council of the Free City of Novigrad. A stone is 14 pounds? Ugh. That's not a conversion I want to do. 25 would have been so much easier. Oh well. I checked over here. Hello, Captain. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Jeez. Take me to Skellige? Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever been there? Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. More did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skellige for a lifetime. All right, fine. One glance tells me all I need to know about you. Oh, I've got a sharp pain in my spine. Hey, buddy. He's got, he's got confidence. All right, anyways, this is the Golden Sturgeon. Burgers and burgesses of the free city of Novigrad. Master Claytop, that would be me, has the honor to announce the betting is now open. Georgius George, known also as Pile Driver, is the name of our tavern's champion. Will anyone dare try to dethrone our reigning king? Well, now I'm confused. I thought that was a Velen thing. I don't know. Whatever. Hello, Captain Wolverstone. You seem to be having a great time over here. You, Wolverstone, Captain of the Atropos? So you want to know if I'm Atropos, Captain of the Wolverstone? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our skellig, carrying grain, but that's our shush. Got any coin? A thousand? Gotta get some. Gotta get more coin. You sure do, for I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Look for your kind beyond the world. Alright, well, we're gonna need a thousand, which I have plenty of. I, I lied, I have six thousand. Uh, do, 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 do. Move my quest, though. That was rude. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Show me what you got. What are you serving? He's got cards. What has he got? Doblafana Scout for the elves. I'm just gonna call him the elves from now on. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Someone has to tell me how to pronounce that or I'll just forever be hopeless. Uh, Siege Technician, Nilfgaardian Empire, perfect. 
We got a uh, Mahakaman Defender for the Elves and Barclay Elves for the Elves. All right, what can I sell them? If anything, won't you take my junk? That could be misinterpreted. Carrying a casket with me? Tell? Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Oh, gotcha. I'm hoping somebody at some point will say it, and then I can continue to say it wrong. <laughs> Cards? Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. If you want to see the spelling, it's right there. Mm, Squayatel's pretty close. I don't know if that's how it's actually pronounced, but fits. Just sound it out. Anyway, start. Put the beat down. Oh no. What do we got? We got rain, we got fog, we got a horn, we got a spy, we got a melee dude, we got another spy. Ooh, that's a good draw. Let's go ahead and I'll keep the fog. Oh, perfect. You know what? I'm happy with that. You, sir, you get a spot. Mysterious elf. Ah, he's got a spy of his own. Well, good sir, you get another spot. That's a pretty awesome spy card. It costs zero, or I give zero, and you just get two free cards. Pretty awesome. Well, I'm gonna give him this round. Actually, I want him to play one more card. Let's make him think I'm actually trying to compete. I, I actually want to beat you. He passed. Well, he tricked me. All right, fair enough. He didn't fall for it. He didn't fall for it. Ah, oh, well he's just gonna give me this round apparently. Well, in that case, I will play Deathmall. Your turn. We will start with Bess. Have a car smuggler, eh? Oh, he's calling in friends. He's calling in friends. He's too bad I don't have Biting Frost. I could totally waylay him. Play my hero 10 points. It's all tied up. Oh, wow, Cyril is 15? Holy crap, what? Find the roach card in your deck and play it instantly. 
So she has 15 and she summons Roach, whatever Roach does. That's pretty crazy. He didn't have the Roach card though. He didn't fully capitalize. He's bringing it, but it's not gonna be enough. Three cards left, what are you gonna do? Oh, a healer, what's that gonna do? Oh, he brings out another, oh, a spy! Uh, actually, you know what, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that outcome. I'm gonna play my horn. Actually, yeah. Oh no, a Scorch! No! <laughs> you dirty man! I'm st I still should have him, but it's gonna be a little close now. Let's go ahead and... Actually, hold on. Do this. And bring out my... Catapult. Uh-oh. 68. It's gonna be a close one. Let's go ahead and use our full test. Boom! A commanding lead. I will fog it up. Yeah, now what? Now what are you gonna do? Decoy? Well, that doesn't help him. All right, I pass. Lose a Gwent, I don't know. Oh man, he had another decoy. He got me. Well played. That's my first loss in a long time. Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. Pulled it out right well, at the I freaking end. For your kind beyond the walls. Oh wait, was I dumb? Oh, I was super dumb. I had a clear weather, didn't I? Oh, I'm stupid. I would have won. I totally forgot that I was holding on to a clear weather. Oh well. That was dumb. I don't know why I did that. Alright, I got a spy and I got all those. Yeah, I don't know. I, I derped. Oh wait, no, I had already passed though. So never mind, I didn't derp, I had already passed. I was I was doomed regardless. Uh, do I want to keep the rain? Nah. There we go. We got Vernon Roach. Decoy. Do, 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 do. All that looks pretty good. Alright. Round two. I want cards early or later. You know, I'm gonna go for the first round. He's got some some nasty tricks up his sleeve. Let's go with. Hmm. Let's go with this. Bringing in the Pitchfork Brothers. Nah, I guess not Pitchfork. Is that a spade? Okay, what do we want to do here? Do I want to contest? Or do I want to give it to him? I will contest. Let me 
you passed. Interesting. All right, I will take the first round then. Or do I want to do it some other way? I'll do it this way. My round, I win. All right, I get a new card. I'm the melee dude. Wants me to play first. I could just go for the win here. And I might do that. I know he has spies, and I could decoy them out if he draws them. Well, let's, let's just see what he's up to. Dennis Cranmer. Hmm. He also has Scorch. Scorch is a nasty card. Play that. I'm really hoping he goes for a spy. That would be such a great reversal. He's rained on me. Well played. Do I keep my decoy or do I pull out my catapult? I think I'm gonna pull out the catapult. Catapult. Is that the one? Oh, I can't tell what it is anymore. I th think it's this one? Yeah, that's the ballista, that's the trebuchet. I think this is the one. I think this is the one that's worth eight. All right, pull them out. Now, I could play my spine now, and I think I will. Oh, nice! Stun Banner Medic. And he played another card. What a fool! Oh, he wasted a great card. Oh, that's... I don't know what he thought I was trying to do, but you can have it. Remember the clear weather this time? Well, I don't have clear weather, and I couldn't use it last time. Anubis, I didn't actually make a mistake. Wait, did he just decoy out the non? Spy? That's weird. All right, well, he's only got two cards. He plays Dennis Kramer. Does that help him in any way? No. Our leader card is the horn for specifically Siege. He's done. Time to be that guy. Time to be that guy. Yeah, that's for beating me last round, you punk. That's for beating me last round. Embarrass you. Freaking embarrass you. Boom, 60 to 6. I'll even play another horn on top of it. Useless horn. Victory! Torrential rain. I don't want rain. That's rude. I believe I see a challenger who seeks to subdue pile driver. Nah, I have to prove myself. Wait. The oh, I thought this said poor woman for some reason. Any man will tell you that. We'll see. I'll post the notice. Just might find a man brave enough. You, go back to your rocking chair. Oh? Uh, whoa. Just so we're clear, when you lose, you can't claim you don't got the coin to pay. First, I won't lose to you. And second, I always pay my gambling debts. Pure reason, Jacob's part. Not more than four yesterday, in this very inn, at that very table, a fella stuck another with a knife. 
because he demanded his coin. Cards and whores. Just not diversions for beggars. You know what? Let's talk to this guy. This is the old man that... Actually, no. no, no, no. I'm not going to get distracted. Not yet. We'll come back for him. Make a fine sailor. Ah, you no setting. glass tastes as sweet as the first back in you. Taste the salt in the with you. Leave me You'll square it. Or 30 you. I'm happy enough to be drinking at all. True. But a hair's breadth. And those Skellige barbarians would have had us. Ah. Oh, sorry, old woman. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it! Don't die! <laughs> Who left all these valuables lying around, you silly people? Don't worry, I'll get some use out of them. Old Geralt's on the case. Hey, I'm older than the old woman. Just saying. Just saying. Supposed old woman. That's what I call her. Stop stealing from the poor. This is a tavern owner. They've got money. A sword for witches. I've seen that before. I entered the bar. Looking like this, and I leave in a bulky trench coat. No one will suspect the thing. Jeez. Did the place up, did you? <laughs> Interesting portrait. See, I'm extracting my payment for my services. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Dreaming, what's it about? Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's do this. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? 
Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I remember when we first met. I trained her at Kaer Morin. Saved her life once. She was there when I died. Well, I feel like that would be a pretty good memory. <laughs> Either that or the training. Screw it, I'll let you guys pick. Cause some of you played uh, the other games. So I don't like have as much context. Uh, let's see. First mat. Training. Saved her life. And my death. Oh, you can pick all four? Well, then never mind. End the poll. That was a quick one. Well, I, uh, I'm most interested in this one. She was there when I died. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but... Couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes. Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. I trained her at Kaer Morin. Ciri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, Development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. The stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Saved her life once. It Apparently was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. I have more to say. Then please do. I remember when we first met. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Oh, interesting. 
Siri is a child of the Elder Blood. They call her the Lady of Space and Time. She had trouble controlling them. Once again, I want people with a little more context to, to chime in, because, like, I know what the Elder Blood is. I have no idea why she's called the Lady of Space and Time. And she does, apparently, at some point, had trouble controlling them, but now she seems in control. So, I don't know. And I took away the last poll, so. I gotta, I gotta do a poll, a makeup poll. Is a, unless this is all of them too, but we'll see. Okay. Call her. I probably shouldn't have typed this whole thing out, but whatever. All three again? All right, well then never mind. Never mind. See, I didn't do too too quick this time. All right. Well, I'll start with the one I actually know about. She's a child of the Elder Blood. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Lady Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yes. Yeah, there's something else. They call her the Lady of Space and Time. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yes. Yeah, there's something else. She had trouble controlling them, apparently. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion I don't know anything about. This might be both again. I'm just gonna pick the one that I know, Yennefer and Triss. And, uh, Dandelion may... I may finally learn about him. Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Oh. Yeah. Swallow at first. I 
after that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? That an inn? The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Oh, I know that play as well. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. You don't like the way she said that. She knows too much. She knows too much. Quest completed! New quest, Broken Flowers. One drops, another arrives. Alright, so... Let's see, my completed quest. By the way, I'm an idiot. Um, I did not realize that these were alphabetically sorted. Somebody told it to me, and now it seems so obvious. Novigrad Dreaming. Corrine agreed to help Geralt and put together a dreaming seance for him. Geralt has always been an introvert, and talking about his feelings and loved ones does not come easy for him. Yet that was exactly what the dreamer needed him to do if she was to dream about Ciri. In the end, Geralt forced upon his shell, or f forced upon, forced to open his shell, then fell asleep and dreamed. In his dream, he saw Siri in Novigrad with me. <laughs> He's like sending me these like notes every time I finish a quest, and he just never like bothered to be like, oh, by the way, Siri's with me. I could have told you that, but your adventure was so enticing. All right, broken flowers. Geralt had learned from the dreamer Corrine Tilly that Ciri contacted me while in Novigrad. He thus made his way to the Rosemary in Time, a charming establishment which I had inherited from an admirer of my poetry, for he quite rationally expected to find me there. His search for Ciri seemed closer to a happy conclusion than ever before. Alright, I am going to get distracted. I want to talk to this, this old man. Where is it? Where is it? What's that old man quest? I thought... Oh, it's following the thread? Alright, no, that's not it. Oh, was it a witcher contract? No? Treasure hunt? Hmm. All right, where the heck was it? Maybe I won't do it. Maybe I shouldn't get distracted. But what's weird is I thought I had, let me go a little slower. There's the soothsayer. Do, 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 what, the, what? Did I lose my, oh wait, no. I'm having difficulties apparently. Rose leaf. Well, my inability to find this quest may lead me to not do it. I I don't understand. It's I did I somehow lose my quest? Or am I just being dumb? Truth is in the stars. Oh, this one. Oh, it does have... Oh, that's right. He wants to go to Skellige, though. I haven't even been there. All right, you know what? I'm going to fist fight. What do we fist fight again? Let's see. We fist fight at the crossroads. I don't think that was there before. We fist fight... Where else? That's it. Oh, wait, can I switch objectives? Well, whatever, I'm gonna go to the crossroads. <laughs> uh, 
So there's there's one at Lindenvale, there's one at the crossroads. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, I went to the bottom. Here we go. Got turned around. Alright, I need a signpost. No discounts, no Where is it? Oh, there's one over there. In the square. As long as they pay, and don't hit. Alright, I'm ready, Dandy. The ladies join me, Andy. The thing I piss me trousers. <laughs> Maybe don't announce that to the world, buddy. There's a strong scent of urine in the air. Maybe it's an animal. Or maybe that dude just lost well, control. Well, another freak. <laughs> All right, crossroads. I have not been here in a very long time. There's a notice board there as well. That happens to the best of us. And I'm. What about them mines that took the wenches from Bellows too? We heard some lizard had woven its nest there. Wouldn't go down those old if you paid me. Mikhail's no fool. Maybe he sniffed out a way to make some coin. A reptile would cough up a coin purse. I may potentially get more quests, but I will read the notice board. A warning in lonely woods, screams carry long. Shadows creep far in deep dark dale. Beware ye, then the grove's wild song, or in the wild will end your tale. I might have seen that before. Another warning. Good folk, if you see any wonders hanging in the woods, such as treats. Oh, wait. Seen that. From the innkeep. You'll buy your drinks at the end of the crossroads with Novigrad. Okay, we've seen that. Help us send them off. to Seen that. Watch what you say, the trees have ears, a kind stranger, and notice, consider yourself informed, every man with a producing, oh, we've seen that too. Alright. Never mind, nothing new. There's the fist fighting ring. Hello, Bucky. What is it, Clay boy? What? Not one of the Baron's men, are you? Uh. Oh. Smithy here is village champion. His head would look lovely on your wall, stranger. I just you brave enough to try some fisticuffs? Maybe I should send him out to the creek. Uh, if that? I catch something. That's. Oh. Smithy, well, got it. Best give Crow Perch a wide berth. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get in. Ruffians to him. Horses all. Hello, wish to fight. Don't hit me, sir. Uh, what kind of book he doesn't mind, let's let me fight? Yeah. <laughs> all right, does anybody know what I do? Maybe I just punch him. Look to me like a fierce fisted fighter. Just ride for our tournament. It's your chance to slap around some yokels, win some coin for the pleasure. You in? I'm ready to fight. Holy crap! I bet you 70. I'm ready to fight. One and all, hear this! Betting on the next brawl will begin in mere moments. The witcher will face Smithy! He'll pound his gob like he pounds hot iron ingots! I mean, honestly, who would fist fight against a, a witcher? <laughs> oh, knee to the face. Too late to surrender. Oh, he's almost out of stamina. He's trying to rope it open me. It's never going to work. Ow! Oh, those are landing clean. Is this going to be a flawless victory? This isn't a fight. This is a beatdown. 
Go back to the forge. Not bad. Might be champion yet. If you're aiming to be champion of Velen, you've two still to beat. Jonah from Blackbow and a fisherman from Lindenvale. Locals call him Fish Gulper. The hound. Got any vodka? You can try to win them all. Poor guy. Won't. Never stood a chance. Kind of feel bad. It's like beating up an, oh. it's like beating up a child. Are they blocking me in? I can't get out of here. Out of my way! Boxed me in. I guess I can go out this way. There we go. Alright. Looking at the map. We got Lindenvale. And where's the other one? I don't know. Guess it only shows one at a time. Well, whatever. Lindenvale, we're very familiar with. I'm curious if there's anything new here. A few words about Bifron. May it be known throughout the land that Bifron's a fool and allowed to borrows yet never returns. Respects no laws, divine or human, and rides roughshod over the virtue of maidens. May drowners pull him to a watery grave. Pete Diggers wanted. Looking for Pete Diggers. Tis hard work, but I pay on time. And Novigrad coins. If you don't know the trade but fear no work, I'll show you the ropes. Anyone interested, come to the camp. First day is an unpaid trial. Warning, I only hire the best. Lesson. Peat for burning and scrubbing. Top quality bog peat for sale. Fit for burning for fuel or giving to your better half. So she so she can scrub it over her face and have skin soft as some kind of princess. Gremlin Herchin. Linen yarn. If you're short on linen yarn, come see me. First spools of the year will be ready in time for Yule. Meanwhile, I'm still looking for a helper lass. She's got to have deft hands and be willing to sit long hours with the spindle. No whiners. Jen. Cloth bleaching. Experienced bleacher of hemp and linen. Fee negotiable. Will gladly accept food or drink. Yargus. A missing dog. My dog's gone missing. Brown. With these white patches. Goes by Teddy. It's a terrible loss because I'd been having him scavenge the battlefield and he'd already put on a bit of fat. Whoever helps me find him gets a share of the meat and tallow. Money. Don't eat the dog! Get out of my sight. No. What do they call you? Know how to fight? Geralt. And yes. <laughs> then enter the lists, my friend. I'm ready. 70 again. I'm ready. Let's fight. Good folk, fish gulpers finally found a foe. Right here, right now, on the field of honor, he'll face none other than Geralt of Rivia, the uh, Hammer. <laughs> the Hammer, huh? Spare me a minute before the fight, Master, please. <laughs> Cut of your mugs plain as day. What am I beside ye? I just want to live. These days, streams are bereft. No fish for me to gulp. And they's given a sack of flour to the winner. Show some pity. Take a fall for me. Oh, interesting choice. Geralt likes helping people, but getting beat up by a peasant? That's not a good look. I shall finally have a pole. Lose. Or win. What do you guys think? Oh, it's close. What do you guys think? Someone break this tie. We need more voters. If 
If you want the plat, you can't lose. Oh, that sucks. Are you positive about that? Well, if you're if if you're not, you just did uh, some amazing uh, reverse psychology and got everyone to vote win. So, sorry, buddy, no chance. Not about to lose on purpose. If you want to win, you gotta beat me. Oh my god, he's level four. <laughs> Poor guy. I'll I'll try to make it quick. Whoa! What did he hit me with? Oh, oh my god. Alright, he actually knows how to fight. Yeah, he does like a parry move. Gotta give it to him, he's good. Not good enough, but he's good. Almost out of stamina. Sorry, buddy. Yes, we might have known. The Witcher took Fish Gulper and Fish Plowed his job. Near it warm my heart to see him renovate his head. There's Jonah still. You can arrange to fight him if you want. Sorry, buddy. Look at that stare. The ac accus accusatory stare. I'm sorry. Hey, Fish Gulper. What do you want? Ah, there we go. We made up for it a little bit. Take this coin, buy some food. See? It all worked out. We were the nice guy after all. I had to win, but I don't want your family to go hungry. Here, take the purse. That's... why... thank you, master. <laughs> go buy yourself a new tooth. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, where's Jonah at? Oh, he's in uh, Black Belt. Okay. Ah, it's not so we need. Come on, Jens. Go on, quick. Rain don't rust your blades. Since the locals Perhaps an outlander will find the courage. Will you join the tournament? Eh? A bit of honest fist fighting to clear the lungs and bowels. Though I warn you, Jordan can be fierce. Likes to bite. Get me? So, what'll it be? What kind of fighting is this? What are the rules? We mostly use fists, but no one looks askance at a straight kick to the stones. Defeat Jonah, then Smithy, and stand Fishculper, and you'll earn the right to face the sergeants. Velen's champion. I'm ready. Oh, I can only bet 50 on this one. All right. Let's see just how fierce Jonah is. Feast your eyes on an epic clash between Jonah and the Drifter. So I've, I'm the Drifter and the Hammer, apparently. Jonah, you're getting your butt kicked. I thought you knew how to fight. You're not even blocking. Not even blocking, what is this? Here, take that big old hit. Oh, I'm throwing haymakers and knees. <laughs> Book you get out of the way. Shut up and fight. Dr 
Drifters defeated Jonah. Could this be a new champion of Velen in the making? Who can tell? If you want to be champion, go to Crow's Perch and ask for the sergeant. And try your strength in Novigrad. The fight there too. Same in Skellige. Oi. All right. We get to fight the sergeant for the title. I hate that Crow's Perch doesn't have a fast travel up at the actual perch. Get the run in every time. Why? Where's your gold? You can tell us willingly, or... No, please. We've none left. Sir, help us. Stay out of this. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. What's it to you? Won't stand by and watch you rob and murder them. Plain refuse to. Got a sensitive one? Look away, woman. Still here. Oi! Get him! <laughs> Baron's henchman. Hmm. Oh my god. He got wrecked. You're welcome. There is a fast travel up there. Heard of preventive ass whooping. Really? Oh, I didn't see it. trap if you want this to be done soon the man needs to concentrate <laughs> your whore sons all i said shut it what are you looking at want to be next for a thrashing what's going on here what's going on here sir me daughter help us my men need some diversion from time to time. They get jumpy elsewise. Can't let this happen. I can't let this happen. I won't. Figured it might end this way. Get him! Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay, we got a real fight. Ah, jeez. Ever fight a witcher? Oh crap, I cornered myself. Oh, we'll fight my way out of this corner. Oh, Archer. So apparently after the Baron left, somebody else took over and is... Causing some problems. <laughs> Dude just got cleaved in two. <laughs> I like that scream. Why are you crying over him? Why is he sad? Best give Crow Perks the right birth. I helped you. Oh. I thought I was done. What? Lost your nerve? Careful, lady. Thank you. Little blood spray. Sorry about that. It'll wash right out.
Well, I've earned the loot. No payment necessary. I'll take my own. What's on your mind? Okay. All right. Is she crying? What's happened? She was due to marry, but her beloved. Bloody Baron's rogues caught me, Micah, flee in the castle of Vittles. And they killed him. <laughs> Quiet now. Don't cry. Got any Vittles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. Let's stay clear of the swamps. All right. We got to restore order in this town. Tails, we clean the shit out of the stable. Heads, we go grab some tit. One toss, you daft. Of course not. We keep tossing till we get what we want. <laughs> what? I'm watching you two. not here. Rode off to find a healer. For the wife, naturally. I know. Seen what's happening outside the gates? What do you mean? Baron left me in command. Told the boys to set things right. Put them in order. The new order. They're murdering and pillaging. That is the new order. And I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. Oh, really? Nothing here for you. He's also the dude we have to fight? Well, maybe... Maybe we'll embarrass him so badly that nobody will follow him anymore. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Your mate split the loot between them long ago. At least that's what I would have done. And you, shut it now. Well, now I'm really motivated to kick his butt. Just to all challenges. Who knows? It might knock you out too. A witcher without a sword's like a man without bollocks. Come on, let him at it. Start the... I'm ready. Huh? Look who we have here. What would the Baron think? Baron's gone. It seems business is booming. Folk are more eager than ever to see the men go at it. Let's fight. Let's start. All right. Come to daddy. Oh, you're gonna get freaking destroyed. Come here. Yeah, how you like that? Thought you could fight, huh? What happened to Mr. Tough Guy? Yeah. Beat the crap out of you. What's going on down down there, huh? What's going on down there? You see what's going on? I'm not KOing you, I'm killing you. Snap his neck. Boom. What a fight! Let it be known by one and all that the Witcher has defeated the sergeant and become champion of all Velen. If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. I'll be as cocky as the Baron's men whip your arse. You're still in charge? You to deserve your company. Nothing here for you. Oh, yeah, you sure about that? Yeah, did you see what just happened a moment ago? White one. What's your business? Bloody Baron know you're here? Oh, there is a fast travel here. Watch it, you clod. Uh, was that? I feel like it wasn't. Maybe it was like obscured. I feel like we just got this. Well, whatever. There actually was a reason to go through town that time. 
Otherwise, I might not have known what was happening. All right, so let's see. What else are we gonna do? Broken flowers? All oh, right, that's the main quest. What's this one again? Uh, that one's in the bits. I went into the bits briefly. Oh, the bits is this area. Mm. I don't know. We still have so much of the city we haven't seen. Apparently there's something there. A quest available. I don't know. I might explore around the city, but... Because there's still so much. We haven't even, like, we barely scratched the surface of this area. There's this. There's the bits. Yeah, let me go explore the city a little bit more. Unless there's, like, some other quest I should be doing. I don't think so. Nah. It popped when you walked through the gate. Oh, I see. So, so it is new. All right, let's go. Let's go look around Novigrad a little bit more. I can't. Oh, I can't pass through. Not from the map. Alrighty, uh, let me look at that completed quest. Was it called Fist Fight? Fists of Fury, rather. Uh, when Geralt found out... Do, 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 do. When Geralt found out a fist fighting circuit was operating in Belen, he decided to test his strength and enter. You must know, Velen bouts were remarkable for their dirty and no-holds-barred fighting. But to someone who fights monsters dirtily and leaves no-holds untried on a daily basis, this was no worry. As any half-intelligent odds-maker would have predicted, Geralt defeated all the regional champions and was granted to the right to fight for the Velen title. The final bout was no walk in the park, but thanks to his well-honed skills and a bit of luck, Geralt emerged victorious. From then on, he was known throughout Yellen as that bloody outsider who defeated our best lads. Yes, it was uh, quite a, a back and forth fight, as we all saw. Any needs, master? We we won by by just the the thinnest of margins. All right, what is this quest over here? Miserable and hungry. Oh, never mind. That's that one. But there was another one. There was one over here, I thought. Maybe not. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, no. That was that one. All right, never mind. Oh! What may we get into in the city? What's this? The Redanian army needs you now. Enlist and become a hero of the north. Why'd your hair go white? They seem to uh, hide the valuables more here. A witch hunter? Oh, it's that guy! He's everywhere. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Pam, 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 Pam. Maybe that's like a hit song. Maybe Dandelion needs to write a new hit, because that was pretty weak. Locked. 
Although compared to some of the actual songs that have been major hits, maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> Dude is so easily amused. Some big warehouse here. Hmm. Much less seems to be happening. I feel like the other district uh, is more popping. This one's the middle. I thought this would be the city center. That would be funny if the game, like, actually reacted to you stealing stuff all the time. And then it just, there's like notices, like, hey, make sure you keep your valuables all locked up. Geralt of Rivia is supposedly in town. It's also amazing how few guardsmen they have in this city. <laughs> Apparently it's a super prosperous city, but nobody's here to uphold the law. They just let it go. Whatever happens, happens. Is this a church? Kind of looks like it. I might have found a church. Also locked. It's the other thing, like all these buildings seem to be locked. <coughs> I don't want me in. Hey, hey boy. What do I gotta do to get a lovely pallet like yours? <laughs> over there. <coughs> to puke or not to puke, that is the... Is that a guard or is that a witch hunter? It's a witch hunter. You think they care about me, Stila? Let's find out. They don't seem to care. Too busy hunting witches, not witchers. Could steal this boat, but for what purpose? None really. But I steal everything else. Just throw it in my back pocket. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Fine, I take you out from the car. Oh fuck, come on in. Got a foolproof uh, method for exercising witches. Would it let me in here? No. Smell that hangs in the air. Do you know it? It's burning flesh. West in black, welcome. Welcome to the stream. 
We made some progress on our main quest. We went and uh, became the fist fighting champion of Ellen. And now I'm just looking around Novigrad, taking more of the valuables. One drink, all I had. Although I must say, I'm not really finding anything. Not finding any quests, any of those like interactions you can get. There's not much going on. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. Where am I? Ah, oh, Jesus, so big, my God. All right, so I think the city council might be above me currently. Although I did find some creepy alley. What did I find? Oh boy. Where have I ended up somewhere interesting? See, I was just saying I didn't find anything interesting, and then I find this. Oh, it's a drowner! Oh, I have that uh, superior oil now. I forgot about that. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, I do! Nice. Oh, look at that damage. Now we're talking. More drowners this way. Ow! 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 Jeez! Ow! God! Oh God! No! Oh, where did he come from? Oh, how terrible! I might have to reload all that stuff. Oh my god, what even did he get me from behind like something hit me and then he dodged or and then he attacked me Oh No, wait Any names, master? Where am I What the Oh, never mind. I know where I'm oh dang it. I gotta reload all that stuff. Ugh, oh, one second, I gotta take off this sweater. Oh man, I can't believe I died to freaking drowners. I wanna see the replay on that, I don't trust it. I took a hit that made no sense. It made absolutely no sense. The last hit made sense, but the hit before that looked like a bit of BS to me. It looked like some some nonsense. I watched all your Monster Hunter World to beat the game, and you're my favorite YouTuber. That is great to hear, Weston. I appreciate that. Ah, oh, I still cannot believe that freaking drowner got me. A drowner of all enemies to die to. I still want to like. If anyone knows what hit me, I must know. Because it looked to me like I got hit by absolutely nothing. The hit before he jumped in came from seemingly nowhere. Unless they have a ranged attack? I don't think they do. I'm not aware of a ranged attack. The hags, uh, the water hags have a ranged attack, but, but those guys, the regulars, I don't know. I'm calling foul play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like I'm calling foul play. Scrum. I have my oil on and everything, too.
Maybe I got too used to boxing. Maybe that's it. Oh. We'll deal with the witches. Gerald Steptron. Oh, is that what it was? I uh, like sprained an ankle or something? Wouldn't that be interesting? I don't think it'd be good, but like, if you had a game where you just randomly have a chance, like, based on your diet, <laughs> based on your diet, you have a chance to just accidentally step wrong or stumble or whatever. You, you play a clumsy character. Certainly be unique. You can find it being very, very frustrating, though. Nothing hurts as much as life. Ramen supper, I never refuse. M3, you're out of here. Right. Have a good night, man. Sleep well. Looking wobbly. Need some overripe sheep's feet. <coughs> Alright, well that actually didn't take that long. It felt longer than it was. <coughs> I'm knackered. Trying to attack you from behind at the same time as you got hit from... No, 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 I know it killed me. I took a hit before that that made no sense. The killing shot was clear. I just didn't know he was back there. And, and thus, Geralt's journey ended. But the hit, hit before that seemed completely nonsensical. They consort with kobolds and slurp the blood of babes. Do kobolds steal things? Cause wait, Odrin. I've heard about this guy. It's him. He's just sleeping on the dock. I've heard so much about him. I found him. It's like Waldo. I should get something. Has anyone ever found Odrim before? Because I just did. My daddy's got gray hair too. My daddy's got gray hair too. I feel like I I feel like I found the uh, equivalent of Gavin from Red Dead Redemption 2. Has anyone ever actually found Gavin? I I heard like somebody solved it or whatever. I had bleed damage? Not for like, I, well, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how much it hit me for, but why would I do a reaction to bleed damage? That doesn't make any sense. Geralt reacted. If bleeds cause a reaction, that's sucks. Devil's spawn. Gavin isn't actually in the game. Someone said they found him. Are you sure about that? Somebody said they found him. Perhaps you're out of the loop. Or they're liars. Lying is always a possibility. Oh, I didn't go here last time. What's this place? Well, I found somewhere new. To a shady back alley. Yeah. It's all good. Slightly different than last time, but maybe not. Wait, this is different from the last time. Or I must have missed the entrance. Don't forget to switch to live chat? I don't even know what that means. What are you talking about? Where the heck? Oh, I guess I went under it last time. Did I? Or was it over here? Oh, no, I climbed up. That's right. I remember now. It was over here. It's top chat and live chat. 
Well, top chat just says some messages such as potential spam may not be visible. That's... I always have it on top chat. It's live. Uh, no thanks. I don't need to see spam. I'm good. You may, you may view the spam if you so wish. I will not stop you. Richard. Hello. May I help you? Oh, you just went. Oh, what a tricker. Ow. I forgot my oil for you. I'm going to give you the business. Mmm, spam. You may like the spam. I do not. Alright. Significantly better than last time. Significantly. I should, whoa! Oh, I gotta clear the poison. Oh, that's what killed me! I was wondering how I took so much freaking damage. That's the second time I've died to poison like that. Ah! I'm so bad at spotting that. Okay, never mind. It all makes sense now. I was taking the insane damage from poison, and that's also where I did the reaction, and I got hit. Everything makes sense now. I derped. I am so bad at dealing with poison. Or rather, just seeing it. I saw that I had a debuff on me of poison, but I assumed that it was because it hit me. Is this game hard? No. No. It's fun. It's not hard. At least not yet. I'm not super far. Poison looks like bleed. A Setsuna is here, lurking in the shadows. You done messed up, Drowner. Eight Violet Blade. Alright, I need Igni. Why is that not... Exploding. Hmm, perhaps I can't explore this. I would say if I was a quitter. Oh god, okay, well. Let's uh, retreat for a second. Oh god, let me back out! Let me back out! No, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Alright, where's that uh, heal potion? Uh, da, 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 da. I may need this. Where is it? Where's the one that's like just instant heal? Third of I. Oh, whenever a single. No, no, it's not what I want. This one that just straight up heals me. This one. There we go. All right, and then while I'm in here, I may as well reapply the oil. I think you can do that? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, God! Oh, dang it, that's not what I want. I want a Quinn. All right, whatever. Use my Healy Potion. Perfect. All right. Quinn. Quinn! All right, I can't Quinn because it's just going to do that. No! Dang it! Put me in this crappy situation! What food do I have equipped? I need something good. Maybe... Would a bomb help me? Damage dealt to foes regenerates vitality. Screw it, I'll take it. Actually, can I just use it from here? No. I 
I seem to have put toxicity on myself, but I'm alive! No! <laughs> Crap! No, no, I need food. Get up here. No, 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 no! No! Geralt! <laughs> ah. Oh, I didn't save because I wasn't afraid of some stupid drowners. Now I probably have to reload that stuff again. Oh, what is up with that? That area sucks. Oh, good. I saved for me. Okay. So, Quinn's a no-go. Because it'll just pop. Uh, Igni sucks. So, I don't even know if I'll bother. There's Axie. And there's Ard. Maybe an Erden would help. Well, maybe an Erden. Quinn's always the superior choice. And finally, something else has some use. oil on now we're gonna have to kill and move and we still might not make it we'll see Igni does not blow up this poison this poison is special perhaps you were not looking about 30 seconds ago <laughs> maybe a minute maybe I'll do art actually let's see if art Nah, I've tried art on them before, I think. We'll do it. Alright, oil's applied. What, um... Swallow potion's gone. Alright, I got dried fruit. We'll take the dried fruit now. Alright, here we go. Here we go! Where are they? Why are they not here? Here we go. Oh, you are slowed! All right, for some reason there's only one Give me the monster here. All right, you know what? We need our Healy Potion. I'm glad these are finally coming in handy. Silver lining. Oh, actually, what's the best food I have? I want to equip that. Because normally I just take whatever. Those are 10, 10, 10. Oh, are they all 10? What's water do? Yeah, oh, they're all 10. 10 vitality regeneration per enemy killed. So it doesn't matter what you drink, it's drink or eat, it's all the same apparently. Oh, that one's 15. So some are better. Is there any like really good ones? Well, whatever. We got fried meat for 15. Give me that. Right me. Yep. I still have my um, vampiric thing. Oh, I made it! Yes! We're alive. We are alive, my friends. I wanna go get that. All right, so more poison that way, but that just goes back to that gate. So that's not good. What horrible situation did I get myself into? See, we explore and we find stuff. That's locked. What shall become of Tamaria? Okay. 
ladder up, eh? Boo! Well, that might be the end of our adventure. I have to go back through the poison. Else there's another way. Hey, Ace! Welcome to the stream. Oh, wait. I think. Oh, uh, no, I'd go this way. It was locked, I think. Bah. Why you gotta be locked? Oh. Wait, has it got me trapped? Because I couldn't open the gate before. Hmm. It might have me trapped. Let's run through, try to figure it out. Shandy's on the way, right? Who got all this poison down here? Oh, okay, now it opens. I don't know. Before it wouldn't open. Alright, well. A mystery for another day. A mystery for another day. Well, good. I feel better. My ego's been repaired a bit. I thought I died. The more I, drink, the clearer I, think. I thought I dread, died straight up to drowners. That that would have been hard to recover from. That would have been very hard to recover from. All right. So is this? Yeah, we were under this place. Never been better. Ace is having a great day. Ace is on top of the world, people. Hmm. Also, nothing here. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, this does lead to that. Yeah, no. It's like a covered bridge, but it's not where I'm at. Interesting. No, I Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer was announced. Is that part two, or is that something else? Never let your kind in, no regret proper. It's part two. When is it supposed to release? Oh, wait, it's... Wait, what? Okay, I don't know where I've arrived, but it looks cool. They won't let me in. He was correct. Alright, I thought that was a covered bridge, but... Wait... Oh. Wait, is this like a rich part of town? Is this like completely walled off? I think it is. Wait a minute. I think that's interesting. I think it is. Yeah. Okay, well maybe the city's not as big as I thought if they're not gonna let me in there. Still huge. But uh, not quite as big. Potentially. Oh, wait. Maybe they will let me in. Perhaps. Okay, so that was just like a bottom area or something. We got the guards nearby. I'm not going to loot. It kills me a little bit. I'll do it behind him. Oh. That was your last one. All right. 
You got eyes in the back of your head? What is this crap? <laughs> Get him, he's getting away! Maybe I mind controlled them. And now I escape. <laughs> Expert escape. They never expected a thing. Oh, that hurt me. Was I already low health? Or did that take freaking 60% of my health? I'm gonna go right back to the same guard and look him right in the eyes. Right in the face. Yeah, I heard. In the evening before she retires, not milk, but blood from a sorcerer's skull. What's and it's a sorcerer's here? blood, of course. Yes, yes, definitely, of course. You expect me to believe that? Tap circle before you land to roll and reduce damage. Is that real? What's he doing here? Hi. Piss off. All right, I just want you to know. There's a witcher out stealing things, okay? So keep an eye out. That's a real thing, okay. I haven't done a lot of following in this game, so. Would not have known. All right, well this that area is well guarded. Oh, what's he doing here? St. Gregory's Bridge. What's he doing here? So this is the bridge I was under, I think. Sick. Sick of it all. I can loot in here. Nobody will figure it out in here. Outside though, they know. They have eyes everywhere. Pretty cool bridge, actually. All right, so I was wrong. We can What's go into here? the what I thought was the rich area. I found a courtesan. Hello. With you. Not for all the gold in Novigrad. How dare you? Look how distinguished I am. You'll not find a better dressed gentleman on all the realms. Alright, so this is another inn. I will take their stuff. Because the lady outside was mean to me. And I didn't appreciate it. I call that poor service. What grace, what style. Say she knows what's up. Yeah, that's right. Fancy a hot back to my place. Mm. <laughs> Fancy a hot back to my place. Mm. Geralt will resist this temptation. What do you think about me? Isn't you funny? <laughs> Lovely. All right, me and the elf girl. Oh, well, secret path back here, maybe. What's this? Tracker's boots. Formula for Rubetto. Huh. Looks like I could potentially keep going, but I don't know if I could get back up. Oh, Passiflora. That sounds familiar. I know this name for some reason. Greetings, handsome. See, why didn't Dandelion get this establishment? It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. 
unbelievable. <sighs> Just got heard at. Dude, 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 close your legs. What are you doing? Well, well, another freak garrison will be stationed here. I'm the freak? You're the one, like, just displaying your junk to the whole room. Dunce. <laughs> My eye. I wonder how much she's paid for contorting so hair lately. More than we pay our staff, that's certain. <laughs> Indeed. And they do honest labor, not wiggle their asses in others' faces. If she wiggles any more, her tits will pop out of her dress. Does she no sense of decency? Listen, there's more. Word is, she's not his daughter at all. Every time I hear something of the sort, I can't help thinking that it could very well be time to change your sins with my wife. Could be it. You'll not find much to do in Novigrad. <laughs> Trish, you mean trash? She drinks in the evening before she retires. Not milk, but blood from a sorcerer's scalp. And it's a sorcerer's blood, of course. I trust in the mad skin man running about town, soul. getting beggars and prostitutes. Ah, no doubt it's a number of Menga's me. ideas for cleansing the city. Really? Must you really repeat this nonsense? Alright, this is supposedly a bar, yet. No ink? No merchant? Sorry. Oh my. He's ruining the festivities. Just charged Take into their, care. into their uh, bathing room apparently. Hello, ladies. I didn't like it out there. I've come to join you. Bars up here, maybe that's why that symbol is there. No, falling returns are not my concern. Soaring inflation is, yes, you'd have done better to keep your coin in real estate. An empty lot fetches more today than an entire villa did a year past day. Vivaldi, I forgot. I need to play him in Gwent. Maybe she's. Maybe he's here, enjoying the sights. <laughs> Imagine being in a place like this, and then two dudes just take a back table and start playing cards. <laughs> I'd totally do something like that. Damn it, I don't. Of my end. Greetings. Behave yourself. Do what you must, but behave. <laughs> you mean you don't play cards in a brothel? I mean, I don't know a better place to play cards. Boy, then he can get his wife out of the dungeon. Naturally. One drink all I had. Come here. Um. I thought she had a name. Oh, <laughs> I 
casino. Maybe it's a casino brothel. It's quite the combination. Alright. I don't see anything else going on here. Alright, you know what? I am gonna try this path down here. I'm so curious. You only know how to play cards in a brothel. You lose all memory of how to play cards if you're not in a brothel. Oh, it does keep going. Interesting. It does seem like a path somebody wants me to take. Curiosity struck the Witcher. Oh, hello. Where have I arrived? <laughs> well, maybe it won't be like the last one. And, oh, a water egg. I'm ready. <sighs> Don't know if I still have my oil. I'm so glad it lasts for 40 charges now. It's so much nicer. Heavy attacks! Ow. Oh! We got friends! See, I don't lose the freaking drowners or drown dead. Only if I'm poisoned. Poison is the ultimate enemy. Poison's got almost a flawless record. Oh. What have I found? I uh, was just trying to loot the drowner. Interesting. Huh. Maybe a mage is hiding here from persecution. Apparently I'm in Gildorf. Enhanced vampire oil. Interesting. Damn it. I come from behind, huh? Never gonna work. Never gonna work. Yeah, now that oils last long enough where I'm okay with reapplying them. Before I was just like, eh, it's, unless it's a really hard enemy, I'm not going to do it. But now I can be convinced. Wait. That's uh, not where I was before, is it? An apple. Well, I've found a uh, alternative path to the bits. Wait, this is the bits? Apparently this is the bits. Interesting, okay. I thought the bits was that islandy area. Apparently not. Okay. Woman. Sorry. See, what you guys need to do is get a guard to come by here, dissuade me from my thievery. 
Or just dress someone up as a goat. You thought I had a Witcher 3 Y through? I most certainly do not. Quitting to just about everyone, though. This game is going to take me two lifetimes. And uh, I got to admit, it's kind of seeming that way. I met you, mate, back there at Loch Marine. I must admit, it's looking fairly accurate. I don't know, though. I've heard that so many times. Clearly a long game. I don't know if it's going to be like crazy, crazy, crazy. Maybe it will. My life got so much easier with a, an auto loot mod. Lay me down with a barrel of beer and a cup in my right hand. Uh, where the heck am I? I'm in a hard. Oh. I am not going the direction I thought I was. I actually want to go this way. I don't know. What shall become of Tamari? Everyone's reading the same books around here. I'm a loot maniac too, so yeah, I also spent half the team half the game spamming B. B Xbox. I would never. Pizza rank. Sick. Sick of it all. When does the Elden Ring DLC come out? I certainly have no idea. Key required. <laughs> Xbox, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Okay, well, this is certainly a nice area of town. I think this is... Yeah, well, they have a notice board up here. You know what I need? More quests. That's clearly what my problem is. We'll check the notice board after I talk to this merchant. Don't be shy now. Looking doesn't cost a thing. There's plenty to behold. This here is a collection of wonders that belong to the mage Eremas. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas's will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. Tell me about Eremas's artifacts. All right, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. What if I knew you could hardly expect me to sell them? Where did Aramas live? At a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now, as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have. Interesting. Potion of clearance. Oh, that's to reset my abilities. All right, so he has uh, a lizard figurine, a jade figurine, old wine from Toussaint, and the curious cases of virtuous Vega. And what's that doll? Black magic doll. A drop. All right, let me sell some junk to him. I've been picking it up. May as well get my money. Okay, 
Let's see, what else will they take? Oh, good. Some of this crap. Keeping those. Alright, barely dented his money, but that's fine. Uh, let me check this quest first. Farewell. Statue of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. What's that called? The Nobleman Statuette. While examining a Novigrant Stallkeeper's wares, Geralt spied a remarkable jade statuette. It was in the form of a nobleman and emanated a strange energy. The Witcher decided to purchase it and show it to Triss. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is another one. Of Dairy and Darkness. He said that one was near Oxenford. I'm very curious about that one. A Novigrad merchant told Geralt about a mage named Aramas. The poor man had, like, had, like so many of his colleagues, met a gruesome death on a pyre. With no surviving heirs, his expansive rural residence was now abandoned. And if the rumors about this eccentric sor sorcerer were true, inside it awaited a great many curiosities and valuable secrets. That is interesting. But the other artifacts didn't give me anything? I think one was a book. Let me read that book. There it is. The Curious Cases of Virtuous Vega. Can there be such a thing as a virtuous whore? Vega asked herself this question each and every morning, and each morning swore she would prove to the world that practicing the world's oldest profession does not preclude virtue. This determination augmented not only to her own troubles, but also those of Gaspar de Bruel, her mother's longtime friend, who as a personal favor had hired Vega to work in his establishment, the Golden Garter. Poor Gaspard had to listen to the constant complaints of customers who would charge into his office in a huff about Vega's behavior. Yet the girl f clung firm to her principles and her ironclad drive to see them through. She would never perform with any lights lit and would avert her gaze with a powerful blush upon catching sight of a male member. Gaspard's greatest headache, however, was the fact that Virtuous Vega never, ever accepted any payment for her services. <laughs> Interesting. That is a curious case. All right, well, that that alone has me interested, like, in this quest line. We're gonna go do it. I'll look around here a little bit more and then I'm gonna take off. So, let's see. Aramis's residence. I must learn more about Virtuous Vega. Welcome back. So, interested in some of Aramis's mementos after all. They're still for sale. You got my bottom all. Show me what you have. Didn't I? Yeah, I bought them all. You fool. Care to play cards? To matters less controversial, wouldn't mind playing a few rounds of Gwent. Um, actually, do I have enough for a... Uh... Nilf Guardian deck, yeah, I know I was getting close. 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, 20. I need two more. Or actually, uh, one more. Oh, no, go back. I do not forfeit. Northern Realms. I got a decoy, I got a fog, I got a rain. I got three of those dudes, holy crap. Never had that happen before. Oh, that's brutal. All right, I don't need rain. Let's actually, let's drop the rain. That'll do.
Oh, me first. Um... Play. A young emissary. Hmm, how do I want to play this? Don't have a commander's horn, which really sucks. Uh, actually, I don't really have the best setup here. Hmm. Well, let's... Eh, he's got melee. Hmm. I don't want to do this. Anders Horn already? Interesting choice. I don't know. I actually don't have the greatest situation. It's not terrible. Let's play this. Alright, well, I got him to play that. I'm, I'm gonna give him this one. Decoy that out. He decided to play another card. That was a terrible decision. I got his commander's horn out, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I also got his hero card out, so we'll go ahead and give him this round. Ah, oh, I used a spy. Now I wish I'd kept that decoy. That would have been nice. Oh well. Yennefer! Crap. Decoyed it out. Interesting. It seems like he's gonna give me this one, so I'm gonna play this card. Yep. Well, if he doesn't have Biting Frost, I'm gonna get a ton of points from those three, so it might work out for me. Round start. Plus, I have this fog. Oh, and I got a spy. What a pull. What a pull. All right, we're gonna start with that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let's not let him know what I'm up to though. We're gonna give him the spy. Commander's Horn. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's over. It's over. He's got no chance. I'll make him even think that the range is okay. It's all over, folks. Yeah, he's got nothing. Let's use my uh, leader card. Oh, I can't. Why not? Oh, his leader card disables my leader card. Got it. Got it. The young emissary rejoins. His last card. He passed. Well, he lost. But we really got to beat him badly. Play the fog. All 
and then play that. Boom! Get wrecked. <laughs> Blue Stripes Commando Phalanx! That's right. Alright, what did I get for that? Villain Tretinmurth. Oh, I think I can finally make a Nilf Guardian deck. Can it be? Let's see. Yen. Oh, wow, it's a dragon. Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units if the combined strength of all of his or her close combat units is 10 or more. That is gross! Oh my god, that is, that would have destroyed some of those monster decks. Oh my god, yes. Perfect, all right. And we do want some weather cards in there. Definitely my decoys, two decoys. Uh, we'll do two commander horns. A biting frost, a fog, a rain, and a clear weather. All right, so 30 decks in my Nilf Guardian Empire deck and 30. So 30 seems to be what I like. 30 is kind of where it's at. Wait. Oh my god, I can use that in Northern Realms? Oh my god. Oh, my deck just got so broken. Absolutely broken. Who are we gonna replace? Maybe Vess? Or maybe that dude? Who do I like more? I kinda like him. I like Vess though. Alright. It's gonna be the old guy. Emil, you're out. Scary Dragon, you're in. Oh my god. No one's ever gonna beat me again. No one's ever beating me ever again. Unless I play my Nilf Guardian deck. <laughs> then they'll probably beat me, but I, w I do want to try it. It was at that point the Witcher became unstoppable. He had procured the help of a dragon. Alright. What else we got? Stay out of the sewers! We would like to inform all vulnerable residents of Novigrad that last week the Temple Guard fished three bodies of the following descriptions out of the city sewers. Male of moderate age, clad in rich apparel, with a birthmark on his upper shoulder. Female, elderly, dressed in a blue nightshirt, numerous blunt trauma wounds all over her body. Male, young, naked, indecent tattoo on his groinal area. These bodies will be examined and identified by the end of the month, then cremated. We would like to take this opportunity to warn our dear townsmen and women against entering the sewers. Despite continual efforts on the part of our brave temple guard, they remain an extraordinarily dangerous place. The City Council of the Free City of Novigrad. Festival of Nilfgaardian Culture cancelled. It pains me to inform you that in light of recent events, the decision has been made to call off our planned festival festival of Nilfgaardian Culture. Ambassador Var Atra. Quick coin in a pinch. Need coin fast? Those blasted non-humans at the Vivaldi Bank say your credit's no good? Come see me. No paperwork required. No question asked. No limits. Loans available in Hacklandian francs. Han Juker. Annual interest rate 700%. That's it. It's a steal. Portrait artist wanted. I am in need of a portrait artist to paint a likeness of my beloved daughter. This portrait is needed in order to finalize the betrothal contract in which she is to enter with a young man from Kovir. Note that the canvas should be ornamented without an exaggerated emphasis on realism. Concentrating instead... I'm bringing out my darling's character, Martin Erhart. That one again, and weights and measures. All right. Please don't paint her accurately. Get a little creative, you know? Spice it up a little bit. Let 
It's hardly her fault that she has terrible genes. I say, I'm curious what my wife will say about that. What are they? Yeah, it's a whale! Oh my god, I love wells! So much fresh water! Heck yeah, can I join in? I want to be in the whale club. Oh man, that is one happening well. Not a headache again. My servant caught some rag. They let him right through our rubbish. These folk are afraid to leave their homes. Rabble from Valens come pouring into the city. That is the inevitable result. Why does the temple guard do nothing about it? They should toss them out by their coattails. The guard has other things on its mind. They chase mages now, left us to fend for ourselves. Alas, oh, it's always the decent folk in the struggle. They let him rabble, and now decent folk are afraid to leave their homes. All right, well, this is clearly the rich district. You would think the bank would be here. I was going to see if I could find it, but apparently not. So this is the courtesan place? Yeah. That's the courtesan place. This is such a confusing town. It's easy to get turned around. Calm down. It's extremely easy to get turned around. I ever go Oh, that's the bridge. Okay, so yeah, that is the courtesan area. What's up here? So a watchtower? No, no. Just a building. Oh! Yes, yes. Well, well, another freak. Ah, uh, scoundrel. Whoa! Mm. What's this place? Of Guardian. No. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I think I've seen most. What's on offer up here? Where is the travel post? I want to go do this quest. The bridge has one. Fresh sheep's liver. Novigrad, capital of the world. Okay, so our quest is taking us away over there. Past oxen for a time. Could look around Oxen for some more too. Maybe I will. I'm not done in the cities yet. I never went to that little island in Oxenford. I'm curious what's over there. I think that's where the college is. Where am I? Yeah, this way, right? This way. Or no? Nope, now I'm confused. All right, yeah, what's going on over there? Geralt's a city goer now. He's given up the life of monsters. He just plays cards in the city now. He's old. Is this the college? You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Or is this a witch hunter area? Wait, what was that? I did enough of this job. Uh, they clearly don't want me to go there. Can I talk to them at least? 
Son of you, miserable plot. Due to the ongoing hostilities, all faculties and departments of the Oxenford Academy have been closed, and the institution's privileges revoked. The student body is hereby conscripted into the Redanian army, with exceptions granted only to philosophers, whose constitu or who, oh, whose constitutions make them unfit for any practical activity whatsoever, as well as medics and herbalists who are required to report to the field hospital at once. Long live King Radovid! All right, well, I was correct. It is the college, but it's closed. And apparently they're gonna be burning some books. So, nothing to see here. <laughs> it's funny, I thought Oxenfurt was fairly big when, when we first arrived. Like, ah, oh, this is a big city. Oh, how wrong. Oh, how wrong I was. You were away in history. No one to say about you, Locke. If you seek your stick, I don't know what to say about you, Locke. If you seek your stick, or some genius men visit you too, collecting protection coin. Visit everyone, and everyone. Only one to see. to death on three pounds of steel. The Novigrad Gate. will be here for the snow falls. Every single Best start learning they'll guard you. Is it a difficult tongue? Oh, I don't know. If you know a bit of elf tongue, it's easier. Got lots in common. As do non-humans and the Imperials in general. Both vengeful, bloodthirsty, and godless. She thinks very highly of them. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Just you wait. The witch hunters will see to you. Close the door for my stealing. Huh, I seem to have found an inn. Just a poor house. Oh, there's wealthy people here. Perhaps their homes were taken by the North Guardians. Now they're here to play chess. Can I play chess? I want to play chess. Or checkers or whatever they're playing. You got no pieces on the board. What are you guys like examining? Maybe they're uh, chess board makers. And they're examining the craft craftsmanship. Perhaps that's what's going on here. I've stopped finding new books. It's been a while. Catarch. Mark the death. Why are they snorting at me? It's so weird. Long live Radovid. Who makes that kind of noise even in, in disgust? I don't understand. You live down Just by the river. Wait. The witch hunters will see to you. That you can hear screams from the other side of the punter at night. Ah, but you know the screams aren't the worst. If you listen close when the moon's full, you can hear this cackle coming from I'm down. I'm a witch! Old women oh, laughing. Yeah. But in a way that makes me shiver. Whenever I hear it, I shut my windows, bar my doors, and sing lullabies to my kids till dawn. To keep them from hearing. Crones? <laughs> Probably. You guys think uh, Geralt 
could have taken the crowns? I'm thinking he probably couldn't or he would have tried. I think the crones might be beyond him. Bryonia. <laughs> I thought this was God of War. <laughs> Not sure what you thought that. I don't have a Leviathan axe. Know what they say about you, lot? If you seek justice, hire a witcher. Thing going on over here. Yeah. Such excellence. You live down by the It's true what they say. That you can hear screams from the other side of the pond at night. Let's go out into the wilderness. You know, Jira, fell from the hills you. outside town, brought sheep cheese to market. Of course I know him. Good man. Always asks about my wife, gives me treats for the kiddies. How is he? Dead. They say something stole his youth. Instead of moving on, he went to look for it and perished. A few days on, a dog brought his hand back to the village. That's all his family got to bury. Shame to hear it. You know what did him in? Some beast. And no one's in a hurry to find out what kind, even though there's a bounty on its head. Jeez. Such fun stories around the village. Witch hunters, I definitely can't take that, they'd see me. But in here everything's fair game. I love how the guards are like looking in this direction. They're like, yeah, nothing weird about that guy. Entering a house for about 20 seconds and then walking out. And then entering the house next door. That's completely normal behavior. Completely normal. What the heck is this? Caged animal? What do they got? Interesting basilisk you've got there. Course it's interesting. Won't see a beast like this anywhere near here. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zeracania from eggs laid by cockerels. Huh. From cockerel eggs? Cockerel eggs, you say? Yeah, and what cocks they are. Lift their rumps like brood ends to other cocks. Eggs laid by such a cockerel must be brought to hatch it by 101 venomous vipers. Then the young basilisk pecks its way out. It's a wyvern, not a basilisk. This basilisk is interesting. It looks exactly like a wyvern. Young one, and ill fed at that. You talk nonsense, sir. This is the most truest of basilisks. Right, what do I know? I'm just a witcher. All done now. If that's no basilisk, but some weaver, what did I pay for? Give me back my con cheat. Brave soldiers, don't push, or it'll go on, watch out! Bad idea. Try to get 
Oh, why am I punching it? <laughs> Put your soul out. Poor Wyvern. I feel bad about killing him. Yesterday it was as fake as the basilisk. Wait, what happened to the merchant? Did he die? Or he ran? I guess he ran. My wyvern friend. Oh, he does have loot. There it is. What? Oh, crap! Oh, they didn't care about me stealing that. Let's not push it. <laughs> that would have been interesting. I gotta fight this whole camp because I accidentally took a water instead of the wyvern. All right, let's continue. Cat Dean, welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Oh, and Agnica took off. She's probably gone by now, but if you're still here, have a good right one. Like a What's this place? Let's probably look at my map. Nice and peaceful out here. I thought these were dwarven houses, but apparently not. Just the style of the area. They really like painted houses, I guess. Although I guess this one's not painted. It just has the colorful logs. Out here. I've got some enemies. place Aramis's abandoned manor we found it oh wow it's seen better days. What is that sound? Oh, it's the birds. Uh, am I gonna say anything? Okay. is completely destroyed but the magic circles intact looks to me like a locked portal wonder if I can open it using one of Aramis's items oh boy Geralt hates teleportation <sighs> reeks in here where did this take me Oh wow. That stench. Ripe cheese. Seems Aramis was a tyromancer. A tyromancer? I don't know what that is. Is 
some light in here. We need some light. There we go. That that helps a lot, actually. Okay. Oh, poison. Ah, crap. I should follow the path <coughs> or not? No, this doesn't do anything. Hmm. Alright, screw the arrows then. Do that now? I can't jump. What in the world? All right, this is weird. It's. I wonder what happens if I igni the poison. More lights! That's some deadly cheese, it sure is. My trial of the cheeses. Lesimer will get a kick out of this when I tell him. Not sure this can get any worse. Okay, I thought it was a puzzle. Apparently, I just had to go through. another. I was gonna say, that was pretty, pretty lame. Alright, good. There's more. When do I stop streaming? About an hour and 15 minutes or so. No torch? I guess I do have a torch, don't I? I thought I did. Oh, there it is. I forget how to use it. I guess I just... Oh, wait, no. How do I use it again? I forget. It's not R1, I don't think. Weapon wheel, thank you. That's right. Uh, there it goes. I mean, helped a little bit. Cat potion doesn't last long enough. Help so much for that torch. I gave it an attempt. All right, so we can either go through there, or we can go this way. A dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. This is a way up there, but I don't think so. Yep, other way. Oh, wait, hold on. What's your senses?
Hey, Steven. How's it going, man? dark in here. I might need that cat potion after all. We're okay, though. I made it! I can't seem to get out. Come on, Geralt. You, you can manage this. I believe in you. I believe in you, Geralt. You can do this. You did it! Never doubted you for a second. Alright, so that's the lower area I went to. like that. Where is it? It seems to be saying there's a ledge there, but I didn't see one. What's talking about a game? I guess right there. Yeah, alright. I feel like that map's a little off. What is that? Gotta share this discovery with Lambert. Our wits are immune to a smell of cheese. Oh, he's huge! Is the other fog with this thing? That guy's massive! I need a necrophage well. Oh, we got him. But I got him! Ow. Oh my god, what the heck? Jeez, don't let him hit you. Got him. Alright, those things freaking hurt. I don't remember them hitting me that hard. What the heck? What was happening here? Uh, strange. <laughs> this is very strange. What is happening? Are they putting the cheese inside of him or are they making the cheese from his insides? I'm thinking they're making the cheese from his insides. to the bolt. Alright. The cheese. Alright, An illusion. What's this? Bull figurine. And Arapence's notes. The vision stabilized and and lo and behold, I saw as if through a moonlight haze, the four princes, each clad in armor and astride a horse. The first rode a steed the color of fog, the second of sulfur, the third black as the abyss, and the fourth a pony. And then I beheld a fountain, a clear spring, but the princes did not drink of it, for it was forbidden. And then a bird of paradise, shining in ruby and gold, flew above them and alit upon the branch of a tree. And the tree had arms numbering a thousand and forty. Draw from the source, said the bird. But they pointed to the sun's bloody tears and did not draw. And then a pure virgin appeared in bared breast, exposing her modest bosoms, ruddy and firm like ripe linden berries. <laughs> Interesting. 
Then my nose became accustomed to the aroma and the vision passed. Tomorrow I shall try to unseal that well-aged sample from Genomivort. It is said to have refined deep scent with slightly nutty aftertastes. Well, we shall see. Trying to loot the desk, it's not letting me. There we go. Uh, what was that bull figurine that I got? Quest item, I assume. Needed to complete a quest. Okay. Someone placed an illusion here. Full moon manuscript and draconid oil, nice. Got some boots. Some kind of vault. I should look around. Magic barrier still active. Gotta find a way to turn it off. Hmm. There's something here. Need to use the eye. No, it must have been hard. I said hard. No? That's... Wait, oh, Igni. There we go. Uh, no? Oh, yep. A little bit more. Not. All right, whatever. We'll come back to that. Now, how in his eye? Ought to use it. Uh, I probably have to do both simultaneously. All right, Igni and run, Geralt. Oh, or right, that works. Deactivated too. the barrier. Snake figurine. If this sword is as deadly as Aramus's Jesus, it's worth taking. Maybe I'll name it the Emmentaler. The Emmentaler, huh? Okay, Captain Wolverstone, the request of Oh. Hey, quest completed. They made us cheese statue. <laughs> okay. The steel sword, a little weak, I must say. 88 to 108 damage. I'm not very impressed. I pass. Still fun quest. Oh, speaking of my quest, let's take a look at it down here. I forget what it was called. Ah, crap, there's so many now. I gotta remember what they're called. Look how many quests I've already done. It's crazy. Uh, which one were you? Oh, of Darien Darkness. That's right. A Novigrad merchant told Geralt about a mage named Aramas. The poor man had, like so many of his colleagues, met a gruesome death on a pyre. With no surviving heirs, his expansive rural residence was now abandoned, and if the rumors about this eccentric sorcerer were true, inside it awaited a great many curiosities and valuable secrets. Geralt investigated Aramis's estate and discovered the mage had been a raring tyromancer enthusiast. 
Tyromancy being, as you surely know, the art of divining the future from cheese. <laughs> All right, we got our answer. I did not realize that was a whole specialty of magic. This is a very rare specialization among mages, one only practiced by those for whom a social life is not a high priority. The reason being that the cheese they use to divine with is, and pardon my blunt language, fouler smelling than a drowner's scrotum. No wonder Aramis's home hadn't been looted. Geralt searched the abandoned residence from top to bottom. Among the assorted worthless trinkets, trinkets he found some true treasures which Aramis had cleverly hid from the world by setting murderous cheeses as guards. Tyromancers are not normally the cheery sort, but Aramis certainly would have been delighted to know that his treasure had ended up in good hands. Alright. I guess we'll go back to... What are we doing again? Oh, this one, man. Although I don't know if I'm quite ready to return to Novigrad. I might look around this area a little bit more. Came all the way out here, you know? You're a master Tyromancer? Fresh air, hey, finally. Cool. Wait, what? Let's just... I wonder what this means. Did I just change the weather? <laughs> what? Dude, what? He could just. He has a lever that switches. The, he has a lever that switches the weather. That's pretty crazy. This Tyromancer is powerful. Tyromancy gives access to powers that some might call unnatural. I would like to go here. And so I will. Winds howling. I turned off the sign. We don't need it. We blew up the sun with cheese. Odorous cheese. Oh. Hello, everybody. I guess I'm fighting a pack of wolves. Oh my god, I guess I'm one-shotting these wolves. Not as powerful as you once were, eh? Oh, they're freaking dodging me pretty well. Stab him. Oh, oh. This is a huge pack. There we go. Tearing them up. I don't need this torch anymore. Put that I do like how how cleanly he switched from one handed to two handed there. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> that was a good quest. <laughs> it sure was a good quest. Is that a. Oh my god, is that a lesson? I may have found a lesson. I found a lesson. Guarded treasure. It's time! All my monster hunter training! It's time! Level 20, uh, oh god! Yeah, you want some of this? Oh, get wrecked, legend!
I doubt I have any oils that would work, but I do have Thunderbolt. Some of this. Oh, get wrecked, Legends. Oh. Probably should light him on fire. Whoa. <laughs> Sucker, eat that. God, you got a lot of health. All right, you know what? I don't need Igni. No, not you, Roach. Get out of here. Nope. <laughs> Stop wasting my Quinn when you disappear with these stupid crows. What? what do you think you're gonna do to me? You ain't doing nothing to me. Nope. Nope. I said, oh, come on! <laughs> really? Fine, Igni. Whoppa! You like that, huh? Did, did you get out of the rock? Yeah! Ah, I broke my Quinn again. Wait, he's right there. Hi. Hi? Are we fighting still? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Got. What you got? Huh? Huh? You wanna try to buy me again? I ain't gonna work! Oh crap, he's got friends! No, he's got friends! Oh my god, what level are they? No, bad. Bad. Why are they higher level than you? Oh no! Ha 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 ha! Gotcha! Get out of my house, Leshen! Out of my house! Nope. Oh, let's pick up. I don't know what I looted. I wasn't looking. I was hitting buttons. No. I don't know what I got. Probably got some dog tallow on us. That was the lesson. Where is he? All right, I'm excited. I got to fight a lesson. I have no idea what he dropped. I may have. Looted him on accident. Unless that's. Oh, there we go. We got fiber, powdered monster tissue, and lush and resin. And I got a entry for lushens. Where is it? Where is it hiding? It's a relic, apparently. Lashens, we never hunt in these woods, never. Even if it means the whole village starves. Moliver, alderman of Hoshberg and Lower Edern. Lashens dwell in dense primeval woods, fiercely territorial creatures. They hunt with stealth and cunning as their only companions. They use their inborn magic to control the plants and animals within their territory, and so when stalking them, Half the battle is merely getting near enough to strike. Leshen's old enough to earn the appellation Ancient, wield advanced skills and tactics that make them particularly dangerous. Uh, Demerician Bomb, Relic Oil, and Igni. I don't feel like Igni really did much. I don't feel like Igni really does much to anything that is supposedly weak to it. There's loot in the fallen tree trunks. Alrighty. Did we fight? We fought an ancient Leshen in Monster Hunter though, didn't we? That was a regular Leshen, I think. Apparently there's like ancient Leshens that are like super strong, but that one wasn't too bad. Relics are supposed to be the most dangerous monsters in this game, and you've steamrolled everyone you fought. They massacred this. 
I don't. I, did they change the game? I I just bought The Witcher 3 or whatever. It's not like a remake or anything, as far as I know. Glory of the North. What is that? Ooh. Oh, never mind. Thought it was better. Well, I'm less impressed with it now. It was ancient in Monster Hunter World? Okay, so I still have ancient lessons in my uh, future, apparently. What's that? Oh, it's just the red looked like the... Um, the red looked like my um, Witcher senses. This game is weird with its combat. It's really hard when you first start, but gets easy when you've understood it. I think you've more or less just described every game in existence, Leo. <laughs> Ooh, uh, well, I don't know if I went here. Let me hit up this grindstone, and I think I'm gonna go back to Novigrad. Really? Did you guys just not see what I did to your Lushen, buddy? Did you not see? So much dog tower. And not a single thing I can recall actually used it. Oh, and I guess there's really no reason for me to have Thunderbolt as my potion slotted. It's good in certain situations. Wasn't particularly good against that lashing because I. Couldn't hit him enough. What's this one doing? Generation of White Honey Tawny Owl. I often forget which ones I have. Wow, that seems really lame. One percent on each. Oh, the Ekamara. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter what I have equipped. I can always switch it. I don't know what I want. Maybe the life drain if I come across a particularly nasty enemy. The Witcher host, step over here. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. Purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Look at here. Bronze with just a lick of gold on it. Means the Redanian coffers are near empty. Might be time to cross the pontar. See if there's any work for us there. Hello, Hans of Sidaris. You post the notice? I did indeed. Oh. Hans of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slain. You interested? What kind of monster is it? What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got rid of it to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks, and I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes, yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatches cows and the like. Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. 
So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? Let's talk about the reward. Let's talk about the reward. About how it's just not enough right now. I'm gonna go... Two twenty-five, or, or sorry, three twenty-five. I'd have gone to hunt the beast myself if I'd known you wanted this much. Hard luck, so be it. Fine. All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. Ah, oh, that's the creature from Oxen Fort Forest. He's trying to cheat us too. All right, we're, we're gonna do that later. But I am gonna get my items in hand. All right, I think I think we're done over here for the time being. Let's head back to the Novigrad Gate, and then I'm gonna go to Novigrad. He seems nice. You know, Gerard, fell from the hills outside town. Got sheep cheese to buy. All right, let's see. We're still exploring around uh, this area of Novigrad. I actually saw a decent amount of it. Let's go back to St. Gregory's Bridge. Serve the eternal fire. Hey, Jackson, how's it going? So, what is the difference between a courtesan and a strumpet? Are courtesans just to look at? Because that's not what I always assumed. Are is there a difference, or is it just a different name for the same uh, activity? I must know. The, <laughs> the price. So the courtesans are the uh, the expensive variety. What is this? Bring your children to Marabella's school for tots, where they will learn reading, writing, and respect for the gods. We charge no fees, but welcome donations from all. Your generosity is what keeps us going. The courtesans are higher level. I guess that's one way to put it. Bring your children. That's the same thing. Oh, I think I found the school. I'm robbing a school now. Why do they have booze at a school? This is a front. They're like selling skooma in the back or something. I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a second. Ballads? Is that new? I think it is. Winter. The first sense of autumn can be smelt. The sense of words is gone in a blink. No changes in view. It is what they felt. Tears of diamonds on your lashes sink. Your home all surrounded by snow. Glassy frost covers rivers and lakes. That's the way it must be. Please don't show. This yearning and grief on your face. 
When the spring comes along with the rain, the sun will warm up us both. That's the way it must be, for we burn with the fire eternal like hope. I will not sing it. Plus, I think it was translated, so it doesn't even make sense anymore. In terms of, like, any sort of rhymes. Any sort of rhyme. See, Cat, Cat Dean knows. She knows. Let's not, let's not ruin it. Although, it would be pretty hilarious, like, if just out of nowhere I, like, busted out my guitar. Turn on the webcam, guitar comes out. I'm like wearing like a dandelion outfit. Sick. Sick of it. It's red to red, yellow to yellow, and white to white. Joachim von Gratz. I read this guy's name somewhere. But of course. Only man's careful yes. that kind of thing. What is it? Let me step on this person. Oh, careful. Careful. I'd bust out my opera voice, apparently. I don't think so. I don't think that this is anything anyone wants. What was that? Necromancy the Forbidden Magic. It is commonly said that magic is neither good nor evil, that it transcends the moral criteria of men, that it depends on the mage whether it will be used for worthy goals or for shameful and immoral deeds. There is, however, one key exception to this principle, necromancy. Proponents of this branch of magic once supposed that one can also do good by reviving corpses. Dead men can, after all, hide secrets, which may save the living. It is better to send an army of reanimated corpses into battle than to squander the life of those in whose veins hot blood still flows. Moreover, a revived soldier may be reused many times, until such members are chopped off so as to make his flesh unusable. Though it is hard to refute the logic of these arguments, the practice of necromancy is still forbidden. This is not at all based on the rabble's superstitions about the living dead, nor the resistance of the powerful afraid those they have murdered could be forced to confess against them, nor the moral scruples of the older members of the Conclave, who were, in fact, laughed down as reactionaries when it was discussed. The fact of necromancy, or the fate, rather, of necromancy was sealed by the observation of Hin Gidimdice. <laughs> Gidimdice. Uh, which was later confirmed by manifold experiences proving the revived dead are always unpredictable and reviving them always involves entirely negative side effects. In other words, no matter how noble a mage's motives might be, necromancy will always lead to evil. It seems that in this way the gods let us know that we should not transgress the laws they have given us, and even the conclave must respect the will of the gods. Beliefs of Skellige Druids. The Disciples of the Isles local pantheon are not the sole spiritual dev devotees in Skellige, for some Druids also call the Archipelago home. Yet this is no cause for conflict, for Freya's adherents and the Druid circle coexist and treat each other with great respect. What welds these two faiths together? A common worship of the divinity found in the earth, fertility, love, and birth. To the druids, men form a part of nature and should treat the world around them with the utmost respect. 
They hold the, or they hold that since nature gave life, her most precious gift, to humans and the other civilized races, they should live in harmony with her, yielding their will to hers. Druids are seen as wise men and priests and are held in high esteem by society. They act as spiritual guides, herbalists, and alchemists. Skelligers seek their counsel in times of trouble, summon them when ill, and ask them to settle thorny conflicts. Like their continental brethren, the druids of Skellige have a circle, an area set aside in their holy grove where they assemble, meditate, and study sacred tomes. Many druids are capable of wielding magic. <laughs> so who's not excited for the third season of The Witcher? Is that when the new guy comes in? Oh, what's this? Oh. Thought it was maybe special. Well, I hadn't found any new books in a while. Apparently these people were taking all the good ones. Well, well, a witcher. Weird, what are they bouncering for? It's not this place. I don't think. Maybe it is? Perhaps, but they're, they're acting like they're guarding this. Yeah, I guess they are. Alright. Anyways. Let's see. Oh, we haven't been over in this area at all. Let's check it out. Far from ordinary. You're a witcher. And remember, never venture into the bits alone. Always take a part. <coughs> Rubbish. Got a oh. wife. No. How about a dog? Yeah, I have a dog. So you've got someone to live for. Never go in the bits alone. The pores are there. Ew, not the pores. They might give you a disease. <laughs> what? What's punishable? Oh, thieving. Whoops. Well, yeah, who would do such a thing? Not me, that's for sure. I'm just a friendly neighborhood witcher. Here to help and get some coin, that's all. In honest, not thieving ways. You think they'll buy my line about, uh... Getting payment in advance? I think it's gonna fly with them? Or should I try something else? Maybe I got possessed by a godling? I don't know. I'm gonna have to come up with something. You're out of here, Orange. Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by. in their house. I feel like that might be slightly unsanitary.
Dandelion looks better this season? What do you mean by that? Is it a different actor? I got pissed like a racehorse. <laughs> you got a piss like a racehorse. I have not heard that in a very long time. The Spooler's Laundry. We've seen that before. I found the oxen for oxen for gate. Hmm. That scoundrel playing cut purse instead of sticking to on his piggy. Shut your trap for crying out loud. Washed your hair lately. Pam 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 Pam. Moon shark. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. Oh, I pushed him back. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to do that in your own shower. Greetings. What have you got to pull? And how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. You come across as quite the experienced loan shark. Been a loan shark long? Aye, since I was just a little tyke. So you helped your dad, took it over when he died? Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> Show me your wares. Show me what you have in stock. A single book. Change your life, a handbook. All right, I'll buy it. And you will buy these things from me. The Tamer. Jeez, 80% critical hit damage bonus. That's pretty crazy. Well, wow, that's so high. You know, for a loan shark, he doesn't have a whole lot of money. Just saying. I expected him to be doing a little bit better. I expected better. some of these because they're expensive. You have three. Alright, so what is this book I bought? So long. Change your life, a handbook. And so I, Jacob the Rebel, once well known as a libertine and brawler extraordinaire from Nazaire, with its myriad taverns to the wilds of Zeracania, used what strength I had left to pull my craft ashore. The raft I had strapped together out of an old boot, bits of scrap, and a burst barrel had taken on so much water that two L's more and I'd have sunk to the bottom. Instead, I stood on dry land, and that was all that mattered. With not a living soul in sight and my stomach growling something mighty, I began to explore. The isle was bereft of game, but offered fruit in great abundance. I ate so heartily, the juice nearly poured out my ears. And then, my, and then I began to gather wood with which to build my shelter for the night and fuel the fire that would warm me. It was then I came upon the strange plant that would change my life till the end of my days. Ignorant of its value at the time, or at this time, I frivolously used it for kindling. Yet as soon as it began to smolder and its sweet scent filled my nostrils, I felt light and the coastal breeze whisked all my troubles away. I devoted the subsequent years of my life to researching this miraculous weed and its properties. As a result, I was able to develop a method that is likely to transform the life of any who puts it into practice. Here is how to begin. <laughs> so he discovered weed. Oh, I was expecting that to give me a, a quest or something, but nothing. All right. Hello there. Pawn in or buy. How about a game of cards? Uh, I'm I'm gonna try my Nilf Guardian set. What would you say to a few rounds of Gwent? 
Time to try something new. We may lose. Oh wait, what's my leader? How do I change my leader? All right, so we have Amir Vonum Rice, his Imperial Majesty. Pick a torrential rain card from your deck and play it instantly. Look at three random cards from your opponent's hand, and these are locked. Oh man, draw, draw a card from your opponent's discard pile? That's pretty sweet. What does this card say? The skies wept when my Pavetta died. They will not weep for me. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Uh, I guess the rain card could come in handy, so we'll take it. All right, I'm ready. Well, I don't need that in my hand. So we'll go ahead and reroll this. We got rain fun. Clear weather could come in handy. We got a commander's horn. We got the mounted dudes. We got uh, a spy, that's good. A siege engineer. Uh, do, 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 do. These guys work together, so we definitely want to keep them. Same thing with this guy, but I don't have the other one. So maybe we'll re-roll him. Let's re-roll him. So I don't think I have the other one. Oh, good. I got a nice siege dude instead. Alright. Oh, he's a monster deck. This could be bad. This could be rough. I do have rain, though. Uh, you know what? Let's start off with more cards. Ah, crap! I did have another one of those guys. Alright, he passed, so I can take this round easily if I so desire. And I do desire. So how do I want to do that? Maybe I... Oh, I got Yennefer too, nice. Um... Well, in that case, I definitely want to play my best card, which is him. The Siege Engineer. And then I'll play her, I guess. Alright, I pass and take the round. Oh, and what's my... What's my Nilf Guardian ability again? I don't even know. Alright, you got to keep my spy. Now the question is, do I really want to commit much here? I'm thinking no. Let's just make him think I'm doing something. Get him to play a card, maybe. Oh, I win draws? Dang it, I could have drawn there then. I didn't know. That would have been useful. Alright, well I got him to play that. I might even play one more card. Should I play another card? I... no. Well, maybe. I don't know, tough choice. Because I would like him to commit another card. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna play one more. Actually, not that, though. Do I really want to play that? Now I'm going to pass. Alright. He wins that round. Which one do you get to keep? He gets to keep that. Alright, am I going to have enough firepower for this dude? I don't know. That did what? Oh, Commander Horn there? That's rude. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we're gonna have enough. We're gonna find out. Let's play these dudes. Wait. Alright, 
I command her in, in advance. A little strange. Alright, I've tied him at the moment, but this could get real bad real quick, and I think it's about to. Yep. <laughs> hey, yep. I don't know if this deck is quite up to the challenge, but we're gonna give it our best go. Alright, interesting. He just rained on the siege. Why would he do that? That's interesting. Maybe he doesn't actually have any siege. Man, I wish I had Biting Frost right now. He can't grab anything. It's specifically rain. Yep. Yeah, dang. Alright. Well... Oh, I guess we may as well play this. I don't see any way I'm gonna manage <laughs> no I'm I'm toast uh, see it through to the end maybe I can pull something out who knows uh, I've got oh geez that's all I've got oh I thought I did have two of these apparently I didn't Oh, I'm so doomed. Is there anything I could really do? I mean, I can do that, obviously. Well, he cleared weather for some reason. Well, I, I may as well use my leader card. Rain right back on us. It's been over. This guy's got a legit deck. I gotta bring out my, my real deck. Hello there. Pawn in or buy. I gotta bring out the real deck. What would you say to a few rounds of Gwent? He would say yes. Alright. Northern Realms deck. Let's go. Let's go. Nice draw there. Oh, I got my dragon. Oh my god, that is getting saved for the final round. That could be a devastating card. Oh my god, that's so good. Um, what should I reroll? Maybe I'll reroll. Oh, nice, I got a catapult. All right, we can do this. I don't know if I've ever won a match where I had all combat cards, but let's try it. Um, how do I want to start this? Let's slow play him. A little bit of slow. What is that? Huh. Interesting card. I'll play Kira. He's fogging it. Huh. Oh, because it doesn't affect his. All right, that's fair. Um, it's making me play. Well, I definitely don't want to pass. With his monster deck, he would just keep that card out, and that would be terrible. So we definitely don't want to give him the round. I might. Yeah, you know what? Let's play Vernon. Why do I want to do that? 
play Vernon. Interesting. Do I want to continue this round? If they were all fives, my dragon could just freaking obliterate them. So I could like really let him commit and then smash him. But I don't know if that is something I want to go for on this round or not. I don't feel like I have any advantage though, so I should probably keep going. I'm gonna keep going. And we're gonna have to actually commit here. So let's do this. What is this guy? Oh, he gave me himself a spy. Oh, if only I had a decoy. Oh, that's not great. That is not great. Freaking zero points, too. Ah, oh, it's such a broken card. All right. That's all right, I think I still have a chance. What does that do? Okay, that sucks. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in it now. I'm committed. I mean, I've got to take this round or I'm screwed. All right. I'm committed. Oh, rewrite decoy wouldn't work. Oh, that was actually a very good thing that just happened. That was very interesting. Okay. All right, this could work out well. Oh, this... Okay, hold on. So I can blast all of his crones, but do I have enough to win even with that gone? Ah, crap, no, I think he still has me. I've never used the dragon, though. Maybe it'll kill more than I think. May as well try it out. I think it's gonna kill us three crones, just outright. Boom. <laughs> it wasn't enough, though. Oh, wait, but I have my leader card. Oh, I can win this round. I don't have, like, basically anything left, though. I'm going to draw one card. I did like destroying his freaking uh, crones, though. That felt good. All right, my leader card will give me the round. I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know if I'm, I have any chance of winning, though. He only has four cards though, so maybe. Oh, and he gets to keep that one too. That's rude. Oh, I got a decoy. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get him to play one of his cards. Maybe I can pull this off. Oh, yes! Yes, play that. Beautiful. Oh, I might get screwed, though. I might get screwed depending on which card he gets to keep. If he gets to keep the Brookse or whatever they're called, then maybe this will work out. Although I could force him to play another card. No, that wouldn't work. Alright, decoy him out. Maybe he's dumb and plays another card. We'll see. You should see what I'm doing, though. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> that was so dirty. Well, he's got me now. I, I can't win. Unless, unless he passes. Nah, that'd be stupid. Why would he do that? Well, let's see if he's stupid. Let's see if he's stupid. Well, I mean, what if he has no more creature cards and it happens to keep 
the vampire, then maybe? There's hope. There's very slim hope. But there's hope. Oh wait, that was the final round? Oh no, it wasn't. Okay. Alright, there's hope. Was he dumb? Did he use the only creature card he had? No. He had one more. Alright, he got me again. With my best deck. This guy's good. Alright, the all unit approach did not work for me. Hello there. Pawn in or buy. Geralt has met a worthy Always competitor. To a few rounds of Gwent. A worthy competitor. Alright, we got a decoy this time. We got fog, we got rain, we got a horn, we got a spy. Oh, we got the dragon again. I love this card. That card is so good. If he, if he uses those crones again, they're getting freaking blasted. Um... I think we'll re-roll the rain. <laughs> Clear weather. And... Re-roll that. Did they get anything good? Oh, I got a Yennefer. Okay, that'll work. Oh, that'll really work, actually. That means I can use my dragon twice. All right, I'm gonna, I just want more cards. Oh, look at that. I got the duo. He decoyed my spy, but I can decoy it right back and he has no idea. I will play this guy. I think I, I think with any monster deck, I want to take the first round. I think giving up rounds to a monster deck is a good way to lose. So, let's see. I'm gonna play... Uh, what do I want to play? Kind of don't want to use this siege weaponry, but the alternative is not fantastic. So, do that. See what he does. He's played my spy. He gets two cards, but then I will get two cards in return. But maybe not this round. I don't know when I'll use it. We'll see. Ice giant, eh? Well, he's not gonna give me the round. I'm gonna have to win it. He's not just gonna hand it to me. Frightener. Oh, what do I wanna do now? He's got a slight light lead on me. He's scorched! Man, Scorch is such a good card. I could Scorch him back, but do I want to do that? I definitely don't want to play my Yennefer. I am, I'm gonna play my dragon, I think. And hopefully he passes, that's what I'm hoping. I want him to pass and then I can throw my, my spy in there. Let's see what he does. Oh, it didn't scorch him. What? Why? Wait, what? What? Why? What happened? Oh, that sucked. What the heck just happened? 
What? Why it didn't work? Destroy your in. Oh, I forgot the the card. I forgot it has to have more than ten. Bah. Well, that sucks. Well, now I really gotta commit. Now I really gotta commit. We passed. Interesting. All right, so I take this round, but at what cost? Do I have enough to really do anything? Yeah, maybe, because I'm going to play my spy. All right, this could work. There's some hope. It's not looking great, but he only has four cards. So maybe it's okay, and I get another card. I start with fog. Hopefully he plays another monster card. Roach? <laughs> Why is Roach on the building? <laughs> what the heck? I gotta read the description for this one. Come on, Roach, fast. <laughs> Roach, what are you doing on the barn? Oh, I wonder if I should... Nah, I'm gonna play my spy now. You get my spy. Have fun with that. Alright, not bad. And we got a nice little group. Wow, really? He used the commander horn? Okay. Have have fun. This is your round. I think I got him. I can't imagine. I can't imagine he has three cards that could beat me. And one of them's a horn. Yeah, he's got enough. It's over. I have avenged my losses. Well, really one loss. I don't count the Nilf Guardian deck. Nilf Guardian deck is not ready for prime time. Well, he's... Well, he's giving it a go. I... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm about to destroy him. Never mind. Nothing to worry about. He is about to get absolutely destroyed, and it's going to be glorious. Oh, no! Well, wait! Wait, that might ruin my plan. Hold on, how much is he going to have? Now it's going to be close. Let's see, he's going to have... 32. Can I get to 32? Yeah, I think I... I think I can. It's going to be close. I think I got it, though. He, he tried. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. So we're going to play Yennefer, who will bring out the dragon, who will scorch the crones. Kaboom! Get out of here! My win! 39 points! <laughs> I beat him by one point. What a turnaround. Get out of my house! What a game! He's got a... I was gonna say he has a monster deck, but he does have a monster deck. He has a monstrous monster deck. How about that? Oh my god, I got clear weather for beating him? What? Oh, what is that? I thought I was gonna get an awesome card. Freaking clear weather. Talk about getting robbed. I guess he is a lone shark. I should have expected. I should have expected. Oh, that's so disappointing. You get satisfaction. I, I suppose I got some measure of satisfaction. Got my eye on you, white one. Oh, that's another.
Oh. Oh, never mind. Cards are random unless it's a quest? I don't... I don't know if that's true. Either that or it just so happens that almost every single difficult Gwent player I've beat has had a decent card to give me. Almost every time. I don't know if I believe that. Seems like too much to be a coincidence. Wait, was there another? Oh, that was an attic. Hello, guards. What's How are rush? you? I'm just trying to get by. They didn't even know they had a guard wall like this. Does this thing go the whole length? Interesting. I got some cheese. Maybe I'll be a Tyromancer or whatever it was called. I'll be a cheese wizard. Royal Lineages of the North. Wait. I thought I'd read this before. Yeah, I did. Why did the show is new? Maybe it didn't. I thought I saw it not faded, but maybe it was. I end up. I think I'm in some underground part. And it goes even deeper. What the heck? Where did I end up? And I'm in. Interesting. Huh. Does this spit me out? Right near the gate? Is that the gate to. What's that place called? To the, uh, the bits? I think so. Alright, so what the heck is down here? Oh my god, it just keeps going down. What did I discover? We are in the sewers again. I somehow always find my way back into the sewers, don't I? All low roads lead to the sewers, it would seem. Kind of odd that they would uh, not like at least put a door. <laughs> there are definitely creatures that lurk down here. You would think they would want them not to just be able to walk right into their guard tower. At least make them work for it a little bit. I don't know.
Okay, well. So far, it's not too exciting down here. I'm expecting monsters. Will I get them? I don't know, but I'm expecting them. For some reason, these are highlighted, but I can't read them. Weird. Right, that goes into a dead end. This seems to go maybe to the... Oh, there's a quest down here. Oh, it's above me. It's above me. What, are they just storing crap down here? Like, there's gotta be a monster. Where's this go? Alright, so... This spills out here. Oh, where the heck I am now? I'm in here, okay. Well, I'm not done down here. I wanna see what else they've got. There's gotta be something, I'm convinced. There's a necromancer down here, maybe. What's this? And I'm sword on the ground, okay? Oh! There's a wall I can break. Now we're talking. Now we're potentially finding something. I'll return for you in a moment. in there for a second. What was that? Huh. Oh, is this another guard tower? Okay. Another guard tower, potentially? And this goes where? Oh, is that, oh, is that the guard tower I came in? Oh, it might be. I think it is, actually. Or no, that one. Er, me? Oh no, I've become lost. Map. Will you show me down here? No. Dang it. I've become lost, I believe. Or maybe. Maybe not. Is this. Actually, this might be the way I came in. I think it is. Alright, I want to see what's behind that wall. What's behind door number one? What did I find? Blast it. However you this thing. Looters. Wait, not? Hi. What are you doing down here? Uh, help me! This damn lid won't budge! God. Whoever put it on the sarcophagus was clearly thinking about grave robbers. Uh, you've no idea who I am, have you? None. Professor Vermont John, Oxenfurt University, Faculty of Applied Archaeology. As a certain ancient map would have it, there's a priceless elven tome in this sarcophagus, the Darar Manuscript. It could shed entirely new light on the NL and Shay conflict. So, will you help? Fine, let's open the sarcophagus. All right, let's open it. Blood of glowing. Vampire. Probably regenerates here. Just five more minutes. Is it 1358 yet? No. Then fuck off. 
Uh, I'm ever running into things like that. Well, come on, open it again. Why? See an Elven manuscript there? Because I sure as hell didn't. I haven't the chance to look. Perhaps he enjoys bedtime reading and keeps it under his pillow. Let's leave him alone or... All right, I'll wake him. I want to talk to him. Fine, I'll open it again. What the... Again? Do you fucking plan to come knocking once an hour now? Enough! New quest, a tome entombed. Oh, he's in trouble. I got vampire oil. At least I thought I did. There it is. I fought one of these before, too. Oh, actually, no, I haven't. This is a car con. Jerry entry added for catacombs. Shame you didn't leave me to talk to him. He might have known something about the manuscript. Didn't seem all that willing to chat. You may be right. Oh well, thanks. Farewell. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if I left him alone. This guy. You do well not to pester folk. I wonder what would have happened. All right, so we got an entry for Katakan. What's that? I swear I already had that. Maybe not. Katakans. Melatel. Great Mother, protect us from evil, from unclean devils and foul demons, and most of all from the clutches of catacans and necorats. Fragment of a prayer. Catacans and their more dangerous kin, necorats, are the embodiments of human fear. They hide in the shadows. They feed on blood. They resemble enormous bats, though with long fangs and even longer talons. And as if that weren't terror enough, they can turn invisible, waiting unseen while dread of their unpreventable attack overwhelms their victim. Weak to moon dust, and devil's puffball, and vampire oil, and Urdin, and Igni. Alright, and that was a quest. Completed. A tome entombed. While in the passageways underneath Novigrad, I've been there as well, and don't recommend them as tourist destinations, if the stench doesn't get you, the monsters will. Geralt met a scholar who was, ex who was excavating in search of traces of long-lost cultures. The professor asked Geralt for help removing the lid from a certain ancient sarcophagus. Geralt decided to promote the advancement of knowledge and help the scholar open the sarcophagus. Instead of the expected withered skeleton, inside lay a fully fleshy vampire. He was not hostile at first and merely asked for a bit of peace and quiet while he finished his rest. The scholar, however, had no intention of respecting this wish. Geralt could not stop him, and the vampire lost his temper and attacked Geralt and the bothersome professor. Whether he wanted to or not, Geralt now had to end its life. I am curious what would have happened had we not done that. Perhaps we missed some interesting things. Manuscript for Golden Oriole. Can it get any worse? Yeah. Well, he wasn't happy. I mean, I can't. I can't imagine. I don't know. This game has so many, like potential things that can happen based on decisions. Like, 
who knows? It might have like spawned some crazy like side quest or a series of side quests. Who knows? I feel unsatisfied with that ending though. I didn't want to kill the guy. I just wanted the stuff. I think I actually misunderstood the options because I thought we were either just gonna like leave, leave. Or, uh, you know, like try to actually talk to him. So I'm like, well, I want to actually talk to him. I don't want to just leave a vampire. Hey, Charlie. I'm doing well. How you doing? Oh, I never went up here before. Watch where you stay. Get out of the way. Seriously? Watch where you stay. Oh my god. Can we open it this way? Watch where you stay. Get out of my way. Ugh, fine, I'll go the other way. Oh, I can't. Oh my god. Fine, I'll go to the ground level. A quest area. That's not what I was asking, but okay. Oh, you meant up there. I thought you were talking about my decision with the vampire. Alright, where am I now? Did this spit me out again? Over here. Where did I originally go in there? I'm trying to get my bearings. <laughs> Oh, what the? What? Why are you attacking me? What I do? I? Wait, why are we fighting? Uh, I was cool to just hang out, but all right. I don't know why we hate each other, but you're dead. Okay. That was unexpected. You were right. Your pain is dead. I am unsure. That was very weird. <laughs> yeah. N not a clue. Uh, it was strange. It's a waste of words. Where the heck was that other spot I entered? I'll make you weep. Hey, I found the fist fights. Wait, was this it? No, that wasn't it. Ah, here we go, because uh, the merchant's here. Yeah, I went in. Mind the guards. Where I go? Ah, here. Here's where I went. Alright, uh, anyways, I think. This is a good spot to to end the stream on. Uh, I explored a lot of Novigrad, actually. Still a lot in there. There's actually two merchants nearby. Um, but yeah, I'd say at least, I've seen at least like 60% of the city, maybe? Or, nah, I'd say at least half. But we're exploring, we're finding stuff. Finding vampires, of all, of all things, down in the sewers. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and save so I don't forget. And that is going to do it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow night is Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with Blueberry. Saturday, I'll be playing The Witcher again. And then Sunday is GTA Online. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.